Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your guy, Snowbike Mike, back again with another Kind of Funny Games afternoon stream. And it's Thursday, y'all, which means the new class of Kind of Funny is taking over. I got blessing out of Yoye Jr. and Barrett working the Yo! ones and twos. So the future class is here. Yo, what a blessing. How are you, homeboy? Mike, I'm doing great. I started this day off by getting a one out of one attempt in Ludo. Mm. My first oh, word. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Weirdly enough, I am very good at Ludo compared to compared to my skill at Wordle. Okay, like Wordle, okay. it always comes down to the wire for me. Where it's guess five, guess six. Ludo, uh, I usually get it in the first three guesses. Bless, you're bringing up some pain for me today because I ruined my Wordle record. No. After mm. fifty, I think it was a fifty-five day streak. I fucked it up. I fucked it. They're like the fourth, yeah, the the fourth, it, yeah, the, the fourth oh, letter, no. the fourth letter. I could not get for the entire was, time. Was it one of those ones where you got it like close real early and then you? Just yeah, had, like, I got it close on my third try, and then <sighs> there was That's just the there's so many different words that like yep. have those four other letters, and it's just like oh god, it was the luck of the draw kind mm. of situation. I know that, that exact pain. Well, I'm glad to hear that you both are continuing with that, having some fun. Blessing's got a dirty mind and is crushing Loodle. That's what I like to hear, big dog. You just know the five-letter bad words. But Blessing, today we got a fun one. Today, it's all about you, Blessing. It's actually a great one because we get to play games that are dear and dear to your heart. The fighting game community will rise up and challenge you in King of Fighters 15. Rise up. Rise oh, yeah. up. And then on the flip side, we get to have a fun Epic Games partnership because today we're doing a fun sponsored stream for Epic Games right here, right now, showing you the best of the best, a brand new release. The King of Fighters 15 is now available on all consoles around the globe. But if you're buying it over on PC, consider buying it on the Epic Games Store because you can use our Epic Creator code, kind of funny, at checkout. It's no additional cost to you, and you can support the team in a brand new way. If you want to learn more about where you can purchase it on the Epic Games Store, type an exclamation point Epic, or throughout the stream, you'll get a link popping up throughout where you can purchase it with our link through there but we got a fun time because we're going to be playing the fighting game of the week which is the king of fighters 15 blessing's going to take us to school show us all about it i'm going to be fighting you're going to be fighting because if you have king of fighters right now over on playstation you can join me and bless and we can kick some butt together there's three v3s there's one v1s if you think you got what it takes come on up step up to the plate because it's going to be a fun time now bless King of Fighters 15, now out, you're in it. How you feeling about it, bro? I'm really digging it. Uh, this is day one of it actually being out, so I'm finally getting to play online. I didn't get to play as much online with randos during the review period, sadly. And so, like, you guys are going to see me probably struggle a little bit as I, um, you know, as I play the, the world, because <laughs> I've been playing mainly reviewers, um, which has been fun, but also that means I'm playing the same, like, eight people over and over again. Okay, but I'm, okay. I'm really digging the mechanics. It's I'm usually not into these 2D anime style um, fighting games, mainly for, I feel like they're more technical. I feel like you gotta really be on point with like the spacing and your inputs and all that stuff. Like Street Fighter, I'm terrible at. I am very bad at Street Fighter. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom, I like, but I'm also not amazing at Marvel vs. Capcom. Like usually for a, a fighting game, I gravitate towards like a Tekken or Soul Calibur or even a Mortal Kombat. Like those are usually my, my jam. Uh, along with like the Arc System work stuff, right? And so like Guilty Gear and Dragon Ball Fighters, I fucking love. But uh, King of Fighters historically, I've not been, I've not been super into. Like I've tried a couple of them, specifically the modern ones, uh, like King of Fighters. I think it was 13 or maybe 12. Uh, one of the ones that was on PS3, I tried and I just couldn't get into. I was really bad at it. But uh, this one, as I've been playing it, like it's been easier, you know, to get into. It's been more approachable. I find that like the auto combos really help because like if you get in close enough. If you just tap square, you'll get those combos in, um, Ooh, and like okay. it really helps out. Yeah, and the, the inputs too are a bit more simple in terms of like it's a lot of quarter circles. You know, it's a lot of like the kind of moves you would expect out of a fighting game like this, right? Like that Street Fighter style, like quarter circle forward is going to be some kind of blast or some kind of range move. Um, it changes from character to character, but it's it's not that difficult compared to some other fighting games. Um, but yeah, like I've been really digging it. Like I've been having a, a good time. I've been feeling like I've been, I've been getting decent at it. Okay. Nice, Cause again, my first King of Fighters, I was scared that like I wouldn't be able to do anything, but like right here, I'm holding my own against, I am Curry 12 while I'm fighting. You're, you're Who's a random well, I like so that. I've been having a blast with it. Shout out to Al Tribes for the tier one sub for 10 months. Thank you, Predator. 
for the support right there and helping that. Don't forget we can fill up that bar today as well to work towards our monthly goals. If we hit 10 monthly goals, Blessing, I created a goal just for you. You ready for this? What I'm going to play Zelda Breath of the Wild for the first time. Oh! Dude, you, if, you're, I, if you're doing that, Zelda. put me put me in that passenger seat, Mike. Uh, and I know you're going to come and hang out with me, bro, bro. So we hit 10 monthly goals. I will play Zelda Breath of the Wild for the first time with all of you, chat. We'll have Bless show up. We'll have so many more show up, and we'll get to talk about it. But, Bless, back to King of Fighters really quick. Are you on that fight stick right now, bro, bro? Are you pressing those buttons or what? <laughs> right now, I'm not on the... I do have the fight stick in front of me. I'll hold it up after this match. Okay. Um, I'm playing on my controller right now just because I'm so used to it, right? That's what I was playing with during a view, and I, I have that down. I love using the fight stick, but I am terrible with the fight stick right now. I don't have those inputs down. I don't have that that those controls down. Mm -hmm. It's difficult. But, like, when I'm when we're playing online, when we're in the room together, I'll for sure bust out the, the fight stick. Yeah, this thing is it's hot. I don't know if they can see it. Bro. Show me, show me yours, I'll tell you mine, bro. Show me yours, I'll tell you mine. Look at us, dude. Look yeah. at us together, bro. Sick. Oh my gosh, bro. I and love like, getting that. those taps in, like, it, it, it feels like you're playing at arcade. I fucking love it. Now, what's the deal, Bless? You're fighting 3v3s right now, correct? You got 3v3s going on? Yeah, yeah. So that's like the primary uh, way this game works, right? It is. Oh, really? Like, okay. Yeah, it's like Marvel versus Capcom, where you pick three fighters, and each each player picks three fighters, and you go and you go back and forth. Um, it's not like Marvel vs. Capcom, where you can't switch out, right? And so you only switch when your first when your uh, character dies, and then it moves on to the next one. So you kind of have to pick your order. So it's a lot more strategic in that way, where you're like, all right, who's gonna be my lead? Who's gonna be my anchor? Who's gonna be my middle? Oh, like, that's smart, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you gotta kind of figure out, like, who are you strongest with, and maybe save that for your for your last, right? Or who's gonna be more um, valuable with having more meter? Because usually your last character is gonna have more meter built up. You know, it's, it's that kind of strategy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I gotta show, after this fight, uh, I'm fighting the same person again. After this fight, I'll show you the character select screen. Because the characters in this game are awesome. It might be my favorite part of this game. Mm, this, mm. this game has a very diverse, uh, varied character roster. I'm loving it. Look at this. The Twitch chat's already awakened right now. Because right here, we have... Where, where'd you go right now? Somebody said, where can I get next? Because I'm ready to rock and roll. So, Bless, oh, looks let's like go. your best friends are already ready to go after you right now. But thank I don't you know if they Tommy want that. G, I don't you know if they want that. The full year. Thank you to uh, Sus Monkeys for the tier one sub for 10 months and Zortino for the tier one sub for a full year. Thank you all so much for the subs. Thanks for coming in and hanging out with me and Bless. On fighting game day, if you got King of Fighters 15, the King of Fighters 15 on PlayStation, you can come play with me and Bless right now. Now, Mike, have you touched this game at all yet? No, I've been playing in the background while you've been playing while we set up. I am all about the... Uh, King of Dinosaurs, that's my dude oh, right yeah. now. That's my dude. He is a little bit on the slower side, Bless, and I feel like I might need a speedier character. Okay, it's the tough mm. balance. Do I need somebody meaty, a little bit chonky out there, or do I need to be speedy? And I feel like I need to be speedy, bro. I feel like I need to be a little bit faster. Mike, that is the that's the beauty of this game, right? Where it's three different characters you get to choose. So you kind of you kind of get to mix it up. That's what I like. Is like the three characters I like to choose. I like to choose three characters with way different play styles. That way, oh, the, my opponent won't okay. coming. You know, I'm playing one way with one character, and then all of a sudden I'm in the next, and I'm playing entirely differently. Um, if you're looking for speed, though, yeah, uh, there's, a character, there's a character I like named Chris who doesn't have any projectiles, which makes them him a little bit difficult. But he does have the speed. He's a really quick character, and like, okay. if you're looking to kind of zoom all over the place, Chris is pretty good for that. I like King of Dinosaurs right now. I played as him, and then I jumped over. I tried um, Vanessa, and then I played Joe. I played as Joe, and those are my those are the three that I've played as so far. See, I've been doing the one v ones. I've been doing the one v ones. Now I got to do three v three. Yeah, I did, I've not done any 1v1s. Like, 3v3s, I think, is, like, the classic King of Fighters mode. And so mm -hmm. I've been sticking to that. But I'd be down to run some 1v1s. Maybe that'll, mean, be, that'll be good for, like, the move. 3v3's out a character. 3v3's the move, bro. That's what it's all about. I like that each one has a little bit of a costume change. I like being able to do that. I like oh, that yeah, a lot. Oh, yeah, palace swaps. Yeah, and there's just a lot of characters. I was not expecting that many characters. Yeah, so is this top bar unlockable characters? Is that what this is? The top bar is actually um, saved like teams. If you want to go through and you oh, want to make a template. Oh, really? Like, yeah, if you like a, a three squad that um, speaks to you specifically, you can go and save squad setups. Make it easy to choose. There we 
we go. Now, Mike, what's your what's your story with fighting games? I'm sure we had this combo a little bit when we were playing Guilty Gear. Yeah, we last have. Year. So it's always been Mortal Kombat for me. Then I got into Tekken, and then I'll never forget the year. It must have been anywhere between 2004 to 2008, because I know I was in high school playing basketball. We left high school basketball practice, me and my mom, and I remember seeing the commercials for, I don't know what the game was, but they had, if you remember, they had Yoda, Darth Vader, and I think Zelda. Oh, yeah, on Soul Calibur. The ones. Soul Calibur, and I begged my mom to go buy me Soul Calibur, and I played Soul Calibur for the first time. And so those have been the three that I've known, but it's always been Mortal Kombat for me. Always been Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude, like growing up, I know Soul Calibur probably was the one that spoke to me the most as a kid. Mm. It was Soul Calibur and Mortal Kombat. Soul Calibur for the gameplay, specifically Soul Calibur 2, I fucking loved how that game played. But then I had the PS2 versions of Mortal Kombat, of the Mortal Kombat games. And so that was oh. Mortal Kombat Deception uh, and Mortal Kombat Armageddon are the two that I had. And those games weren't they didn't hold up well in terms of like their actual core gameplay mechanics that's probably the thing that people dislike the most about them but everything else in those games i thought was really cool like there's a story mode in mortal kombat deception that's really yep. dope where you're playing as i think his name is shujinko and you have like a world that you're running around in and you're meeting all these different characters and they kind of get deep into the lore of like the different worlds and the war between the different worlds uh that shit spoke to me there's also like a cool chess mode in mortal kombat deception that i fucking loved but then armageddon Ooh, also had another okay. story mode and like Armageddon also had a kart racer in it. That was really fun. Like the PS2 Mortal Kombat games had a lot going on. And so like yeah. Mortal Kombat had a special place in my heart for that specifically, but then also for me, it was Smash Brothers, uh, specifically uh, the, okay. the original N64 Super Smash Brothers. I played the hell out of. So you rolled right into it. Let's talk about it really quick. Mm -hmm. Are, is Smash Brothers Def Jam I see in the chat right now? Are those fighting games, Bless? Because like, oh, yeah. for me, I always consider fighting games just these 2D or like, you know, we're on the same line fighting games right there. I know that Smash Bros is a fighting game, but like, I never think of it in that kind of lineup of the fighting games when you ask me that question, you know what I mean? I think these are all fighting games. Mm -hmm. I think they're kind of different categories where mm. Smash is a platform fighter, right? Like any game where it is, it is mono e mono. You're going back and forth and you're fighting. For me, it is it, like, it's a fighting game and there's no point of like trying to discount anything, but mm -hmm. Smash and like, Brawlhalla or Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl or PlayStation oh, yep. All-Stars. Uh -huh. like, these are all platform fighters where it is like you're hopping around and you're trying to knock somebody off stage. You know, I think that's the way you categorize it. But then when you're looking at Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat and like what we think of as traditional fighting games, I just call them traditional fighting games, right? I, th I think that's Traditional the way fighting games. That's what we yeah. call it? Okay, okay. We yeah. Got and I guess like you can even- says fighter versus brawler. Do you like that terminology there? I can see it. I can see it. I will, when I say, when I think brawler, I think of like, uh, I think of like Streets of Rage or something I think like that. Streets of Rage, beat them you know? up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, beat them up style uh -huh. thing. Um, okay. But like you know, I've, people even just distinguish between 2D and 3D fighter, right? Like when you look at mm. Um, mm. Tekken versus something like Street Fighter, where Street Fighter's 2D, Tekken's 3D, or Soul Calibur's 3D. Yes, I you, love that. It was always so different, like that is right. Yeah, but then you also have like the what I would say is like a arena fighter, which is like. Um, uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm or like Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi oh, where it's yeah. like you uh -huh. know behind the back like you're you're in an arena and you're trying to take somebody out like I feel like these are all fighting games they're just different categories yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine but what all you right. got lined up over there what are you doing right now what do you got I want to edit I want to edit teams because I realized okay. I only have uh, one, okay. one team and so I want to get into the character select and highlight some of these characters because like I've been going around and I've been trying to I've been trying to figure out what my core team is and I still don't know like the team I was using, which is Isla, mm. Kukri, and Luang, I like them. I feel comfortable enough with all three characters, but I kind of want to expand that tool set, Mike. Okay, you know? okay. To let the it's, people know who you're, who, who's your go-to three? Why is it? You know what I mean? Talk, tell us all about it, bro. We're all watching you hanging out. I mean that 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 oh, the the original team one that I decided, right? That's probably like my go-to for now. But I'm trying to like I want to use more Chris because I like Chris. Which I'm trying to find where Chris is at on the screen. That's the one thing is like when you show these characters just as they're here is um, their profiles. It's easy for them to all get kind of lost because there's so many characters. Um, I want to do like a Chris and then Dolores is a new character in this game and she's kind of tough to use okay. for me. Uh, Isla also is a new character. 
but I find her easier. And then uh, Shune here, I believe, is new to this game. But I do like him a little bit. Mm -hmm. DJ Chris says, I'm right here. He's ready to go. We can open up that room. Get people in here. I'll do that after. I mean, this. you know what? If you're you're ready to open up the room, I'm ready to fight too, Bless. So yeah, let's do it, bro, bro. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Oh, so many characters. There's one character named Angel who I like a little okay. bit. Okay. Okay. But she definitely she's like, she's that character where they're like, let's throw all the sex appeal on this one. Mm, like, gotta you'll have see, that. Gotta do it. When, I, when do I pick it, Angel, y'all will see. Like she's the one where it's like, oh, you guys not hold back <laughs> at all. <laughs> Uh, let's do her, her, and then need one more. Let's do Terry Bogard. Okay, classic. okay, I like that. I feel like Terry might be an, an easy one to pick up, and we'll make that team too. Who are your favorite MK characters, Mike? I mean, of course, Scorpion Sub Zero. I like. Um... Oh my gosh, let's bring up the list. Because there's this new guy that I really like, but I always forget their name. It's the giant with the little guy riding on top of him. Oh, yeah, I know who you're talking about. I can't remember their name. Yeah, everybody, I always forget. Ferritor, yep, that's Ferritor. it. Ferritor. Like, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, you can't go wrong with Jax. I like Jax a lot. Actually, who I've been playing as is let me see if I can find her. She has the staff. What is her name? Let me see. Like, oh, Jade. Is it Jade? It might be Jade. That with was the that was the I one that I I really worked hard on my fighting stick with to learn the combos and remember that. So I messed with Jade a little bit of Melina. Um, but yeah, Mortal Kombat the recent one was the last time I really had the fighting stick out and was pressing all the buttons trying to learn. And it was Jade all the time, to be honest with you. It was Jade. It was a fun time. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. What do you got for that room code? Because I'm joining. And of course, yeah, anybody sorry, else, if you, you want, right. you can come join us. Please feel free. Uh, you have the room code up there, 695224. If you want to come join me and uh, Bless right now in the squad here. Right, Mike is ready. All right, I'm going to switch okay. over to my fight stick. Oh, okay. I'm going to switch give it a the shot. Fight stick. Switch to the fight stick. I like that. Again, I'm very bad with this thing. Only one way to get better, and that's just to do it, bro. That's just to do it. Again, room code is 695224. Mm -hmm. Feel free to join if you want. All right, yeah. Can Can in here? Characters? Definitely the, the man with the leopard head. You know what I mean? The cheetah head guy? Of course, dude. You know that. Oh, for Tekken? Oh, yeah. yeah whatever cool. his name is, you know, I'm all about that guy. Uh, also, the one right guy there. with the crazy hair and the beard and the mustache. I don't know what his name is, but I like that guy. You know who he is, though. Crazy hair, beard, and the mustache. He's got the he's got the crazy karate shoes that are like platforms. He's got the karate gi and outfit on, and then he's got the hair that sticks up in his hair. Is it like, is it flat top? Like, is it the, like... No, I don't think, I think he's like half bald looking up. We'll take a look at it. Definitely King. Uh-huh. He's like the main character that everybody sees. Because that, Tekken's not my go-to, but Tekken was always the biggest back in the day. Everybody knows who he is. Oh, Hayachi? Yeah, it's got to be him, right? Like, he's bald and like, yeah, crazy hair. Uh -huh. Oh, I know, yeah, yeah it's yeah. Hayachi. You're talking about Hayachi. Also, feel free to uh, hit X to ready up. Go ahead. There we go. All right, here we go, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna go with Whip. I like Whip here. Whip also dope outfits, very dope outfits. I mean, I'm nervous about this fight stick. I'm scared I might not have the stuff, you know? I mean, you'll have this stuff against me, which will be a positive. The issue is now you have to prove it against other people who are actually be coming after you. You know what yeah, I mean? No, because I, I already you know, know Cambosa. I'm just smashing buttons is right. Yeah. Because Cambosa is in here, and for sure I'm switching controller for yeah. Cambosa. Yeah. Trey, not Trey will be here soon enough to make Trey us will all be in here for sure. Worried and, about yeah. our gameplay. Yeah, it's all about. I ain't to go trying to. I ain't trying to mess around and get messed around. You know. <laughs> <laughs> what 
It just feels so good to like fucking tap. Is it right, cool, bro? It's, it's super so dope, cool. dude. It's super dope. Uh, how do I hit L3? Is there not an L3 button on this? Oh, and also Jack. When we look at the Tekken lineup, I like that guy Jack a lot, too. He's pretty dope. Get ready for a battle of I, I was a big uh, Brian guy in Tekken okay. 7. Brian, uh, Eddie, Gordo, always. I fucking love Eddie. Lucky Chloe in Tekken 7, too. I love her. Round one. Ready? Go! <laughs> Get back, get back, Mike. I'm pressing the buttons. There we go. You on that five stick right now? No, I'm not. I think mine's Xbox specific with my little dongle is Xbox. I can't get it to connect at all to my PlayStation. I'm gonna hit you with that combo a lot. Yeah, That's that my whip. combo right there. Oh! Keep that distance. I always appreciate a good fighting game that allows you to set up the room like you just did. You know what I mean? Instead yeah. of just constantly having to invite people, I love having the room ready, locked in on deck. That's what I'm all about. It's wild when games get it wrong. Because I feel like the template is so easy. Like, that, that was always my issue with... Um, Arc System Works games like that, their matchmaking is just overly complicated because they do they're doing too much. Where they're like, okay, yeah, let's give everybody an avatar, let let them walk around a world. It's like, no, oh. just give me a menu, give me a menu, and that's it. You know, give me a room code, make it crossplay, which this isn't crossplay, but you know, I feel like I feel like you just gotta not overcomplicate it, and that's gonna make things great. Because yeah, you can spectate too, which is nice. Mike, how you doing in your match? Uh, I'm smashing buttons. Man, I'm smashing buttons, having fun. I'm a freaking goddamn T-Rex, and that's all that matters, bro. It is, it's me versus Mike right now, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, I almost picked this lady. She's great because she has range. Get in there, T-Rex. My favorite part about fighting games is all the crazy characters that they create. I would love to be with the character team and be like, what kind of crazy stuff are we thinking up? Let's see what you got here, you know? Because every fighting game seems to have just some wild character. Oh my God, the kiss of death. There it is. Massive. <laughs> I just turned on a power mode. So what do we got on this one? That's what's on my max mode at. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Michael's over here teaching me new mechanics. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> looking not down know. below. Like, what's up with that? What's I've up not used this? the max mode yet. Right now I got Vanessa. That King of, Di King of Dinosaurs is just a little slow, bro. He's very slow. Good grab. There we go, bro. Nice. Let's make this a fight right now, bro. Go down to our last character. Who we got? Oh, the Sandman. It's like this guy could easily be a my hero villain. <laughs> nice.
Oh, get the fuck back! No. <laughs> oh! Nice! Ooh. Ooh, GG! Bless, dude, let's dude, go, Mike just got bro. It in. We're having fun, everybody. Oh my Hell god! Oh yeah! Yeah, see that right there is a lot about to not switch back to controller. You gotta switch back, dude. You gotta just keep pressing the buttons, bro. Don't stop, man. I want mine it's to still work. Still so dude. cool to use. I know it's so much. It's so much better, bro. It takes your game. Oh my god, we got people joining the lobby, bro. Oh yeah, we got. How do I? How do I step out? Let's let you fight some kids, bro. You step. You fight some kids. How do I get out? How do I step out? Is there a way to step out? I think there's like uh, a. Uh, yeah, press triangle. There it is. Now, yeah, there we go. There we go. Get you and then in there, for people bro. who get are people there. who are in the lobby, if you want to, yeah, if you want to get in the queue, you have to be in the middle. There we go. Look at this, bro. If you want to join the queue right now, our room for the King of Fighters 15 is 69, 25, 24. I don't know. I just made that number up at the end. It went too fast, but somebody's got it in chat right now. Change the title. Uh, Mike takes us to school. Bro, I'm going to teach you some moves. You know that Cinemaniac is right, bro. <laughs> I'm going to teach you some moves, bro. All right, who am I fighting right now? Uh, I don't know. I didn't see who it was. All right, it'll say in I'm a just second. so excited. We're ready to have some fun with it. You are fighting... Sandero. San... No, Sandorios? I don't know. I didn't see that one. I was going to I think it's s'mores. s'mores and Oreos. Yeah, I thought it was called. S'mores. S'mores and Oreos. Oh, S'mores bro. and Oreos. S'mores and Oreos is. is a lit name, dude. Shout out to S'mores and Oreos for joining us right now. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Oh, S'mores and Oreos is about to bring the combos. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, I can already tell. I can already tell. Here we go. He's got the dinosaur, so I respect that. You got the dinosaur. I like this lady's outfit that you've been rocking right now. Liking this outfit. Liking this style. Reminds me of one of the squid kids from... Uh, from Splatoon? That's a, yeah, that's exactly Splatoon. what you yeah, me Reminds of. me of that. Yeah, reminds me of that. Twitch chat, let's get a pulse right now. Hey, Twitch chat, what, where's y'all? Are y'all into fighting games? No matter what the fighting game is, like we talked about, whether it be a platformer, 3D, 2D, whatever it is, are y'all into fighting games? Let me know. Throw some ones in the chat. Let me know if you guys are into fighting games. I need to know if y'all are really into it or not. Is this on Xbox? It is. It's on Xbox. It's on PlayStation. It's on oh. PC. Remember, we are having a fun Epic Games sponsored stream as well. So if you're buying it over on PC, remember you can buy it through the Epic Games store. And you can use our Epic Creative Code at checkout. Kind of funny to support the team if you buy it over on PC. I like watching fighting games too. I'm not the biggest fighting game player, but I love watching Evo and fighting game tournaments. I'm a big fan of that. Blessing once did a, once commentated a Dragon Ball Z Fighters. Really? Um, that sounds like a fun time. Tournament. Didn't, I've never seen Dragon Ball, so I just made up all the names, but we had a great time. We had a great time. Made up a lot of names. A lot of backstories as well. A lot of backstories. Man. Dragon Ball Fighters is fucking great, man. That is a fun game. Now we got a good matchup right now. We got a good matchup right here. Big block, massive block. He's got his max mode. Can we hear the made up names? Well, there was Android 14. And if you don't know about Android 14, they came from Mars, okay? Android 14 created on Mars, sent down to go 9,000 mode on people. That's what I thought. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know if that was true or not. Creed and says fresh cut, Mike. Thank you're looking you. Mad fresh I I, hey, you know what, Bless? It feels good to get a haircut. You know what I mean? If I had my oh, yeah. way, I'd get a haircut every two weeks, Bless. I go get a haircut every two weeks. 
feel good, look good, play good. And uh, thank you for that. It, it was a nice little startup to uh, start the day with the haircut. Yeah, you're looking clean. There we go, big dog. Here we, this is a good matchup right Down now. Down to the wire right here. Yeah. Oh, we get to see the dinosaur, bro. There was a lot more Anthro Metal. There was a lot more. If you put the Dragon Ball Z Fighters list in front of me, I'd make up a lot more. I, that's the only one I remember was there was an Android. A couple of Androids, actually. Yeah, there's like Android 21. I think that's it. That's, all, that's the only one I can remember. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this is evenly matched right now for the final one. Oh, he said, get over here, bro. He's got this combo down. I can't do that combo. Whatever he's doing, I like that one. Oh my. Oh yeah, he had me. I was Massive. like, dude, this guy has my number right here. This guy's good, bro. This guy's good, dude. Shout out to what was it, S'mores and Oreos? Yeah, S'mores and Oreos, bro. Had my palms sweaty. I like that. I like that. Mom spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. That's the exciting thing about this being uh, day one that the game is out. Is that like now I'm actually seeing like how people play this game, like how good people are. Or how we've now filled out this lobby. We have Guy V 2020, uh, Casino GB rocking us right now. S'mores and Oreos. Cambosa is about to step up. I can't, wait, Cam I can't wait to see Cambosa. Oh, Cambosa is about to step up to me. Okay, S'mores and Oreos says, oh, I'll take a step. Okay, okay. Well, let's keep it moving. Right, let's have Mike, some let's fun. See what you That's got, great. Man. I'm going to press some buttons on you, dude. Watch out, homie. Press some buttons, Mike. I'm going to go back to whip. I'm going to go back to whip. So now I'm going to deviate. I'm going to avoid. I'm going to avoid the dra I'm going to avoid the T-Rex. He's not my guy. I've decided he's not my guy. So I need a new recommendation. Blast. I need somebody fast, but also probably somebody out of the squad to be a little bit on the stronger side. Who do you recommend? I think it's going to be that guy. Wes, who do you uh, recommend strong and fast? Strong and fast? Yeah. Ooh. I mean, you can go Terry Bogard. I don't know how fast Terry is, but he's definitely strong uh, all the way to the left. Mm -hmm. There's also Luong, who I was using, who um, has good reach. She's to the bottom right. What's, my, uh, what's the Metal Slug characters that we were talking about? Who's that? Where's that guy at? I'm actually not sure which of them are. We got one okay. second left. Up. There you go. Uh, here we go. So I want to start off. I'm going to start off with Vanessa, my strong suit. Then we're going to Clark. I'm going to finish with Whip. I probably should have put Vanessa third because Vanessa's my safety pick right there. But we'll go from there. Okay, he's got Terry Robert. I like that one. Okay. Ralph and Clark or Metal Slug. Ralph and Clark we'll look for. Okay. Yeah, there we go, Mike. There we go. Do your thing. Do your thing. Hit over here, Cambosa. Oh, yeah. I can already tell. Mike Mike knows what he's doing. Mike is playing. I'm press uh, uh, uh. Mike tr pressing the hell out of those buttons. Oh, man. I love this so much. Oh, my. Cambosa, why are you doing me like that? Now, Barry, you beat... um. Sifu at under age 25, right? Oh my god, Cambosa. Right at age 25. Right at age 25? Yeah. I feel like you might oh, be uh what? you might be primed to get into fighting games, man. Nah, not really my thing. Hey, Cambosa just hitting the ultimate lag spike right now. Yeah, I'm seeing that lag happen. Just oh, thank god, I thought that was my internet, internet got versus really... the other mountain town internet, bro. I've always like played a bunch of fighting games throughout like the my years of playing video games because all my friends are usually into fighting games. I enjoy them, but they're just never anything that like I, I stick with, you know. I'm excited to play uh, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax when that comes to Switch, though. In a couple months. What about Windjammers, Bless? Where do you fall on Windjammers? You know, people like that. 
Is that, I, a, I is didn't that play a fighting game? Windjammers. They they they've compared it to some of that to the vibe of a fighting game. Yeah, it has that like mono mono fast paced mm -hmm. gameplay kind of thing. Uh, I played a little bit of Windjammers too, and like it seemed cool, but also seems like one of those games that I play when I go over to somebody's house and they're like, yo, let's throw down some wind jammers. Like, it's not a game that I would get into just to get into it, you know? Like, I have to have a reason to play some wind jammers too. I played some wind jammers too by myself and I had some fun with it, but yeah, I'd like to play with other people, see what the vibe is like with yeah. that. It's like Lethal oh, League, yeah, where it's like, you're not just at home playing Lethal League by yourself. You there gotta be go. at somebody's house. I can't boast of that character, very good. That character was good. You're doing a lot of grabs there. That guy was shooting fireballs at me. Respect that. Oh yeah, Drew and Chad says I really miss the Fight Night games as well. I miss Fight Night too. Mm -hmm. UFC kind of replaced recently. that a little bit for me. Oh, you, you turned uh, on Fight Night recently? Yeah, I turned on Fight Night Champion, which is backwards compatible. I turned that on recently. Not as good as 3. 3 is the GOAT. But uh, it is nice to get back to Fight Night and just see that and play that. It's fun. Fight Night Champion, I think I played the demo, demo of that one all the time. Because it was like, was it Mike Tyson versus Muhammad Ali? Or was it like... They had Somebody that matchup. Else. They had, they that, had match that matchup. Oh, yeah. I think that was the advertised matchup, and you would get to play that in the demo. And I remember doing that nonstop. S'mores and Oreos, thank you for the tier one stuff for 17 months. Thanks for joining us. This is fun when you're a part of it, man. Thank you. I want to say right, I played don't Fight Night. Cambosa, though. Don't fight Cambosa. I want to square Cambosa up with Cambosa. Cambosa is mean to me. Cambosa is mean to me. Fight Night Round 3, I think I had on PS2. Uh, cause like it had like the, it had both generation versions and I didn't realize that like it was a PS3 mm. game when I was playing on PS2, but like they would advertise the sweat tech is the thing. Like anytime you would hit okay. somebody, like punch somebody, like sweat would fly off. And I remember oh. I'm, and maybe slobber. I remember like seeing that and going like, oh, that's weird. That's kind of like, they're kind of overdoing it on the sweat. Like every single punch, it'd be sweat flying off. And I'm like, is that supposed to be blood? Like what's going on here? Oh, well, Trey, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub for one full year. You're incredible. And you know what? You're never slacking with the subs when you're supporting the team. So thank you so much. And don't forget, if you have Amazon Prime, you got Prime Gaming, everybody. Why pay for a sub when you can subscribe for free to any of your favorite streamers here? So if you, your mom, your dad, your auntie, your uncle, your dog walker, your best friend, Susie from down the block, if they got Amazon Prime, link that account with your Twitch account. Make a Twitch gaming account, all right? Why not? Order. I'm all about it, y'all. We got the fight stick out today. Blessing and I have our fight sticks out. Blessing has played with the fight so stick today. I have played with the fight stick. Was He's I rocking. good with the fight stick? No. I was pretty bad with the fight stick, but Only I want to get Only one way good. to go. Only one way to get better. Ready to Rumble is my favorite boxing game as well. You got me right there because that's one of my favorite games. God, Raider Rumble Boxing. That was that. Mm -hmm. That was the N64 cartridge that happened that to be at N64. everybody's house. Yeah. Uh -huh. Every for some reason, everybody, everybody owned Raider Rumble that except one. for me. Uh, it was so cool. <laughs> Ready to Rumble rock. Like, anytime you go over somebody's house, they had Raider Rumble Boxing. I never understood uh, it, so but like good. that game was fucking cool. <laughs> Luna, thank you so much for the tier one sub for one full year. You're incredible. Thank you for the year sub right there. Oh, that's all right, Cambo. So you're always more than welcome to hang around and have some fun with us. But thanks for gaming. Thanks for playing with us, Cambo. So that was awesome, bro. Now we got a good matchup here. We got S'mores and Oreos taking on Guy D right now over on my favorite map. You call them map stages? What do you like to call these, Bless? What do you usually call them? Uh, I go with stages. You go with stages for that? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, there's the me the Metal Slug stage. Oh, it's so up. dope. It's so cool. Were you, a, were you a Metal Slug person growing up? Huge Metal Slug person, bro. Even when they even when they brought them to consoles, I still enjoyed playing them and having some fun. Nothing quite like shoving your quarters in and, you know, do or die on that situation. But 
I still love Metal Slug to this day. Can't wait for Metal Slug Tactics either. So excited. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah, Metal Slug Tactics. Can't wait for Tactics. Definitely want to try it out. That's one of those ones where I know it's not my type of game, mm -hmm. but it looks so good that I just want to try it out just at least once. Mm. I'm actually going to play a game that's normally not my cup of tea, which is Total War Warhammer 3 tonight. I like oh. RTSs, and those are up my alley, but I'm not a big turn-based RTS type of guy. So I'm excited to see how this uh, plays out with my kind of gameplay, because I like the fast-paced, we're moving all the time, StarCraft, WarCraft, Age of Empires type RTS. So we'll see what I think of Warhammer. That's a Game Pass uh, joint too, right? Game Pass on PC, it's going down, bro. Somebody in chat asked, um, when was the last time I went to an arcade to play a fighting game? And I don't know. I don't know the last time I went to play a fighting game specifically, but the last time I was in an arcade and happened to have played a fighting game, I think might have been July last year for my birthday. Um, and it was kind of weird because that was the first time, like, in the pandemic period that I've done anything like that and I felt weird just because I was like, oh, am I, do I really want to touch these things that other people touch? Uh, and so I felt weird oh, for that. But oh, oh, I will yeah, say that, like, I did have a fun time playing, like, Street Fighter um, uh, in the arcade. Never, it was at the uh, Emporium. Never been. Oh, the Emporium. Yeah, that's a dope yeah. spot. Home blast. Yeah. We had a lot of fun with Killer Queen Black over at the Emporium, dude. That was a dope time. Yeah, that's a really fun one. That's a great one. And nothing, nothing quite beats a, a nice night at Dave and Buster's with all the arcade games, right? <laughs> that's the best. Dude, the place uh, that I used to go to back in Champaign, Illinois, it was called Jupiter's. And it was basically a Dave and Buster's where it was uh, pizza on the first floor and then you go to the basement okay. floor and it's all arcade stuff and bowling and all that um and that, jupiter's was the jam like i fucking love jupiter's they had like the square cut uh chicago style uh pizzas like thin thin crust square cut that everybody fucking loved but i was kind of like ah, i just prefer the regular pizza i know what about arms what happened to arms blast are we getting another arms game whatever happened with that we're not getting another arms <laughs> No arms. Is arms, done. arms is the game that I had so much hope for, and I was so excited for, and I thought it was going to be the future because I specifically loved. Oh, I got a trophy. I specifically loved. What is this trophy actually? Hold on. Acquired ten titles. What title did I acquire? Whatever, I'll take it. Uh, arms was that game that like I played so much Wii Boxing, and I fucking mm -hmm. to me was just Wii Boxing. And so I was like, there's no way this can fail. There's no way this can be bad. And sure enough, that game came out, and like it wasn't bad, but it also wasn't exciting. And I, it's hard for me to think that they will make another one. The only thing that will give me that hope is the fact that they put the ARMS characters in Smash. Yes. Which, uh huh. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, that was a choice. And it's a choice that makes me think that maybe ARMS isn't dead. But, but isn't the I'm ARMS my breath team like another team as well? Don't they work on a different franchise? That's they work on Mario Kart. Mm. Yeah. But, like, it's Nintendo. And, like, these teams seem to, like, be gods when it comes to churning shit out. So maybe while they're doing this DLC, maybe they also work on another ARMS game. I'll prefer them to work on a new IP. Mike, is there level evolution in this game? I don't know, Bless, is there level uh, beatdowns like in Mortal Kombat and Injustice where you can throw somebody into the stage like that? Is there anything like that? No, not as far as I, I've seen. It doesn't feel like that, yeah. Or yeah, like, you know, in one like of the that. games, might have been Mortal Kombat, but I forget what it was, where you could like fly off the side of the stage and go onto a different part of the stage. Dead or Alive is probably where you're That was about. an exciting time. That was an exciting in, in time. Was the, first, that, the first time I ever experienced something like that was Dead or Alive 3 on the yeah, original that was Xbox cool. at a friend's house. Yeah, and they would like kick somebody, they would like fly out a window, end up in a different part of the stage. I remember seeing that and being like, mm -hmm. video video games have peaked. We can't get any better than this. <laughs> it was that kind of thing. Tekken has that too, where it's like, if you smash somebody hard enough into the ground, they'll fall to the next floor. Mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Fighters has that kind of too as well. I guess Guilty Gear has that as well. That's a, I guess every fighting game to some extent has that. But yeah, King of Fighters doesn't have that. Thank you to Cambosa for the three gifted subs and for fighting today. And Guy V with the five gifted subs right there as well. Thanks, Guy V. It says five gifted subs for the loss. Hey, that's all right. Go out there and keep battling. We got S'mores and Oreos running the table right now. Casino GB21 trying to bring it. But uh, we got a tough one here in S'mores and Oreos. We'll see what happens. Here's what I'll say. 
played um, Injustice. Because I really Injustice. like Injustice. Okay, yeah, yeah, I like but Injustice. I always had beef with how interactable the stages were in Injustice. Hey, 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 up, hey, hey, hey. You can straight up just like take shit in the background and like throw yeah. it at an enemy. And like, I like cool that. idea. I like that. It's but great. But also it's like, bro, now you're taking out the strategy of it. Like, And, and, we, and we know some great people but... who worked on those environments. So, you know. Oh, cool. That's yeah. dope. I mean, shout out. Uh, are you talk, is they talking about the homie Brian Kessinger? Because yeah. shout out Brian Kessinger. But you fucked up, Brian. <laughs> All right? You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Got him. Love uh, the homie Brian Cash. He's no longer at uh, that team. No, though. he's at respawn now. Yeah, he's at respawn. Uh, shout out to Buddha. Buddha, come play the co-op campaign with me later. Let me know, Buddha. Also, right, Soba know. Mass brings up a good point, but you can block them. Bless. Yeah, bless. You That's not the point. Them. Yeah, you can block anything in a fighting game. My point more so is the is that like. It takes like the it takes like the one on one nature out of it. Like Mortal Kombat added it after the first Injustice had that stuff, where it's like, oh yeah, there's just a fucking va vase in the background. I'm gonna press R1, oh, yeah, take the vase, toss it at my enemy, and it's like, come on, bro, yeah. hit me, yeah. fight me with your fists. Like leave, leave leave the vase alone. Off the topic, but here's another here's another one blessed that I really liked uh, was Marvel vs. Capcom. I loved all those games. I had one for my PS Vita. I liked that game a lot. I love all the characters. Those are one of my favorite fighting games. Sure. Mike, say the word right now. We can switch to Xbox and boot up Marvel vs. Capcom 3. No, one of my one of my favorites out there. I loved Marvel vs. Capcom. That was always a fun time. I liked it. I was always bad at it, though. Oh, good game. Yeah, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and 3 were both, like, in heavy rotation in college for us. Mm. Yeah, those were dope. Great characters to choose from. Those are definitely the game. Maybe this is this in Street Fighter. Maybe this is why I don't play much Street, much Street Fighter. Those are the games that my friends owned and i would go to their house and play and they would beat my ass relentlessly beat you up yep. over mm -hmm. and over and i'd like i i could probably count on my two hands the amount of matches i won against them uh nothing more probably, to more that probably just turned that. me off yeah yeah it's like ever since then i was like yeah i just can't do street fighter so both characters down to the last one s'mores and oreos though low on the health side here for the final fighter Casino's got some game. Yeah, this is a match. Casino's got a great ponytail, too. Got there him. Is. There it is. Fantastic job. Yep. Triga, thank you for the two gifted subs. Thanks, Triga. It'd be cool to see Capcom do a new X-Men versus Street Fighter. I do. I want to see a new versus game. I played... um. Tatsunoko versus Tatsunoko versus Capcom for the Wii, uh, and that game was surprisingly dope as hell. We got, a, we got a good those. battle here. We got a good battle coming up. I believe it's Casino Bala, Captain Cold Brew with the Prime Gaming sub right here. I'm gonna pick Angel for the sexy. Ooh, yeah, I forgot about the Mortal Kombat characters, huh? Because you had RoboCop, you had was it Jason, right? Yeah, a couple of weird characters joined that Striker. lineup. Man, I like that stuff. Yeah, I loved that. You're right. I forgot about those crazy characters. Rambo was in there. That's wild. Shout out to Rambo. Yeah, wasn't Joker. Terminator in that one too? Maybe. I don't remember. They had a bunch, didn't they, Barrett? Yeah. Huh? I remember, I remember it, IGN's coverage was that was a lot. Huh? Yeah, I don't think I that. helped with that one, but I remember any time an Injustice 2 character would come out, I would have to re-download Injustice 2 mm. to capture. Because they had a bunch of crazy ones in Injustice 2 that were dope. Uh, let's give a big shout out to everybody right now tuning in and hanging out. Remember, if you are subscribed at the tier one, through three level or with Prime Gaming, which is totally for free. You don't gotta watch ads, but if you aren't subscribed, gotta watch this block of Twitch ads at the top of each and every hour. You'll support us by watching these ads and then you don't have to sub if you don't wanna sub. So there you go, y'all. Yeah, Mike, uh, Michael in the chat nails it. And just as to having Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Hellboy, the best. Yeah, that was a cool Those lineup. That was a cool lineup. <laughs> I like these boots right here. I like these boots on this character. Cowboy boots are dope. Casino <laughs> Baller versus our very own Merch City 64. Blessing going absolutely in right now. Oh. Give up that easy. 
blessing just locked in, y'all. <laughs> locked all the way in chat. Just absolutely locked. Yeah, we're just in. locked in right now. I had to bust out the sexy, you know. Mm -hmm. Boy, I like this guy, Dozy. A little sleepy right now, a little sleepy boy. Oh my! That's a combo right there. Oh. Man, I think we're all forgetting about the best fighting game, though, which is PlayStation Battle Royale All Stars. You know? <laughs> no. Like sometimes we just forget about that. I want to revisit that at some point. Sometimes I feel like we just forget about the fun that was that. I know that's like Emma Watkins Jr. joint. Emma Watkins Jr. loves that game. Well, me and Emma Watkins Jr. like a lot of the same. Emma Watkins Jr. also me. likes a lot of bad games. So, he, you know. he gets me. Yeah, and I like a lot of bad games too, so we get each other, <laughs> me and him. <laughs> we just get each other. Blessing, not not a single fighter down, bro. I think Angel might be your person, huh? I like, I like Angel, yeah. D block, I would never forget about Def Jam. You know that. I just need them to make a new one, just like NFL Street and NBA Street. But Mike, they here's probably an idea. never will. When the next. Well, hold on. Actually, let me, let me not get knocked out real quick. Not, okay. Knock it out, bro. You're going perfect right now. Try not to lose this character. Oh, it's too late. Oh, it's too late. Look at that sweet hand. Yeah, oh, my. When the next wrestling game comes out, uh, okay. probably the next WWE game or AEW, depending on what happens, mm -hmm. we should do a kind of funny wrestling le league. Ever thought about that? Like a stream, like mm, kind we of, make I our mean, own characters. We do our entrances. Like we actually hey, like treat it like an well, actual. Let me tell you how many times Greg has tried this to get into that. You know what I mean? As long as everybody would I'd like to it. try the wrestling game. Here's the issue: you have like us three and Greg, and then I don't think anybody else would be interested in that. Bless, you know what I mean? I'm having a tough enough time. No, it, it, Kevin you and two and Greg to play on rails. <laughs> But I would do that, Bless. I would do that, yes. I think, you know, what would work better if Def Jam did come out? We would just do Def Jam. Oh, my God, I would love and that. we'd all be into Def Jam. Or oh, we just call up Aaron Porter when we get you and Greg to be the tag team matchup to represent Kind of Funny in the big uh, Achievement Hunter Wrestling League they got going on right now. Oh, do they have that? Mm -hmm. They got one going on right now. It's very good. I needed that W. Thank you so much for that fight. He needed that, he needed that W. I forgot how much I loved um, Athena. She's really so you good went for... Angel into Athena here. You like the yep. Athena. Okay. Angel okay. into Athena. Athena I've only used for a few mm -hmm. matches before this, but she has a really cool projectile deflect move that is very okay. useful. Um, funny enough, I don't know if I'm going to choose Angel again. Actually, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Her thing is that... And maybe I just didn't discover it. I don't think she has many projectiles. I think she's all melee. Um, which is good against some characters, not great against others. I'm just going to rock that same team, actually. Screw it. Yeah, Ascent here says no projectiles for her. Yeah, so it's always like, for me, it's always a risk choosing uh, Angel for that. But it worked there. But yeah, say the word, Mike. If we're going to do a wrestling league, I want in. Okay, we got, we got three people. We got three. You and I, you, me, and Greg, we'll make it happen. When I tell you back in the day, I used to love WWE SmackDown versus yep. 2007. Oh, it's a great time. Ah, shit. There we go. Uh-oh. I think I pressed some buttons. Okay, there we go. Like, I would... Tr I, if... if um, That was one of those games that I had on PS2 before they had Platinum Trophies or whatever. But, like, if they tracked Platinum Trophies for games uh, back then, I would definitely have a Platinum for SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. I did everything you could do in that game. Which I'm mind. There we go. Oh. Ooh, look at Mike. Oh. 
Trying to get out of that. Oh. Should have been taking notes of your angel gameplay there. Ah. Oh, go get in there. Oh, I tried to get out of that. Here's, uh, Look at this guy, dude. Rez here says, No Mercy was the best wrestling game ever. My first wrestling game was SmackDown uh, Just Bring It for PS2. And I, I never hear people talk about that one, but like, that was a pretty cool game. Like, you could like uh, take fights backstage. You can take him outside. You can take him outside. You can take him to the bar across the street. I would do that all the time for the hardcore match. I appreciate match. that. I appreciate that. That sounds dope. Yeah. That was like maybe what, 2002 probably? Maybe 2001? Now, wrestling games, those are fighting games too, right? We're considering that fighting game. I, yeah, I'd say so. I mean, I, you know what I mean? Def that was like halfway, halfway through, halfway fighting, halfway like sports sim. It's like, is, are the UFC games fighting games? I'd say yeah, why not? Oh. Yeah, tough character you got going on, bless. It's yeah, Angel. Angel. I'm Good. actually digging Angel. Yeah, maybe I maybe I need to focus more on melee. That's <laughs> what I'm learning. Oh shit! Oh, no. Ah! No! Nice combo right there. That's a big combo. Get out of it, Mike. Get out of there. Nice. There we go, bro. Get out of good there. Good counter. Very good counter. This might be my new three, <laughs> even though I've not used my third yet. This at least might be my new two. Oh, Go from the melee wow. character right right into the projectile character. I mean, it's a good little switch up, right? It's a good switch up. Oh wait, Emmett's here. <laughs> What's Emmett saying? Emmett's we talking, talking shit. Back. I wasn't. I was the one hyping it up. Emmett. I wasn't I'm either. That was all Barrett. That yeah, was all Barrett. I, I, I was just saying how you had bad taste in video games sometimes. <laughs> Yeah. God damn! What what bad what what is one bad video game that Barrett li or that uh, Emmett likes? Uh, that's Emmett? not PlayStation Battle Royale. I feel like there was something else. There's someone else Emmett talks he about likes all the time. Too alive. That's a great game. Oh, that's Saints a great Row game. Four is his favorite game of all time. I respect it. Hmm. Let me go to his timeline. I feel like he was tweeting about something earlier. He's he likes Risk of Rain Two a lot. People he's love gonna that. Risk he's gonna game. review the timeline. He's gonna review the timeline. Yeah. You got a blessing jumping back in right now. I think against Guy V. I think Guy V's up right now. Let's see how Blessing does on this one. He's got his three, he says. He's got his three. I at least have my two. I'm not used Maxima in this rotation yet. I feel like Maxima yeah. is gonna be a good closer just because he's heavy. Okay. Guy V. Playing B says when is Mike versus Blessing? I think I we literally we, just fought. We literally yeah, just, we just did fought. it. Just fine. I, I got one. Blessing's got one. We'll go to. We'll continue on. Blessing is way better than me at all these games. I just smashed buttons endlessly. It's my favorite part about fighting games. I forgot to pick my order, and so we'll see. Oh no, that worked out. Never mind. There you go, Angel Athena Maxima. Okay. Emmett, I don't think you've ever liked a bad game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and say it. Have I played enough of PlayStation Battle Royale to, to judge? No. Oh, it's a good time, bro. It's a good time, dude. I played like, I think, it was, I think it was the demo. It's I probably played the rounds. demo and I was kind of like, all right, whatever. I got that crap of the rapper, dude. He's in there too. He's smacking people. Candyman's in there. Candy, uh, you talking about, what's his name? The what do they call him? Sweet Tooth. Sweet, sweet, sweet Tooth, tooth. yeah. Yep. Candyman. 
Candy, the candy <laughs> man's in there, bro. The ice cream That's dude, he's in there. Is that game still playable? Is PlayStation have backwards compatibility where I can play that game still? <laughs> no, that you would have to get a PS3. Uh, I don't even know if it's on yeah. PlayStation now, if I'm being honest. Oh, Fuck, man, is it on PlayStation? Very, you know, is, is Battle PlayStation Battle Royale on uh, PS Now? PS Now? Ooh, I don't think so. That's a game that should be on PS Now that I don't think is. You could buy it on PS4? Okay. No, you cannot. Oh, what's up? That's what somebody wrote. There's the no Leo way. Cat wrote that. I've oh, always, always believed the Leo Cat. Always believed the Leo Cat. Never believe them. Hold on. Somebody said Vita, which sounds accurate, actually. I have it on Vita. I know that. I have it on Vita. I didn't realize that game came out for Vita. You know what game did come out for Vita that I was shocked when I realized and I immediately got it was Street Fighter X Tekken. That game is out on Vita, and I played some of it on Vita, and that is a video game. <laughs> That is a game that I did not put many hours into because it was not that great. But I thought it was not say FIFA because I enjoyed FIFA Blessing because on the back you could touch that little touch screen on the back to dictate where you shot for supreme accuracy in my mini Vita portable soccer game. <laughs> also, I let myself get too invested in this conversation. I let Angel yeah. die. I'm sorry. <laughs> let Angel, Angel die. Here, hold on, hold on. I'm looking at the available list. Hey, Buddha, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming stuff for 23 months. What up, Buddha? PlayStation All-Star Battle Royale is not on PlayStation now. Tough. Why? That's a weird one. That should be on PlayStation. I feel like uh, latency, maybe? I don't know. But I guess the original Injustice on PS3 is on there. Yeah, that's a weird Blessing. one. That's a supreme game right now, bro. Yeah, I'm locked in. I'm locked in, everybody. <laughs> He's locked in, folks. You have Get to bring your A-game if you want to take down the champ right now. Licensing for characters. I could see it, because Cloud was in that, right? No Cloud. Wait. Yeah, I, I don't forget, think was, was Cloud in it? I don't know. I don't think so. Man, PlayStation All-Star Battle Royale deserved way better, man. Like, how did they not get Cloud in that game? Because it wasn't a good game? But it's like, bro, how did Nintendo get Cloud? <laughs> and y'all didn't, you know? Listen, was you in there? Oh, thank you. I just need that, I need that warm up. I need that warm up. GG. Yeah, Ooh, not, now you're like, that was Guy V. That was Guy V bringing it. They had Raiden in it? I mean, good for them. But. Oh, now you got s'mores and Oreos. Okay, here's the, or this is the, here's rematch. the rematch right the here. Rematch. Here's the rematch, bro. You got s'mores and Oreos who's just nasty on the sticks, bro. Man, you think by now I know where Angel's at. There we go. Angel, get that Athena. Still haven't used Maxima. Yeah, you didn't even get to that point. Yeah, yeah. Now, what's up with your top bar? You can't save them on online matches? You can't save your threesome on that top bar? I think I can. I just have... Well, you have to do it, I think, from the profile menu. I'm not, okay, like, okay. I'm not gone through the trouble of figuring mm -hmm. it out yet. All right, here we go. This is the matchup y'all wanted to see. S'mores and Oreos versus Merc City, our own blessing. Ready to go. Level three versus level four. Look at that. S'mores and Oreos leveling up. All right, he's got King of Dinosaurs. He's got King. You got Elizabeth in there. Not bad. Here we go, y'all. Round one. Ready? Go! Ooh. The square up at the tiki bar going down right now. Nice combos, bless. There we go. There we 
go. Oh, people's elbow to the top of the dome. <laughs> people's elbow. Nice job, bless. There we go. I guess no, I think one down. I think Spores and Oreos chose that character for Angel too, because that was a lot of projectiles. I think they were trying to keep okay. that distance. Back at it again right now. Fighter number two, King. Let's see what King's got on you. Oh, s'mores and Oreos, stop it. Nice little tap out of that. Oh my, great combo, Bless. Wow, you turned that around, homie. Good job, bro. That's wild. All right, here we go. Ready? Dino with a big leg sweep right there. He's got that combo I like down. The Talon Claw combo, I'm going to call that one. Oh, yup. Player 2 finally takes a round. I like that music. Mm-hmm. Music's music's hot. Come on, big dog. Get in there, dinosaur man. Massive. Oh, the answer back though. Oh, the suplex, dude! Wow. Unbelievable from S'mores and Oreos right there. Oh, there it man, is. no. Blessing just keeps you at bay, bro. He doesn't even care. You can go with the These super characters, suplex, man. but he's not going down, bro. He's not I going found it. down. I, I have found my characters. It's been done. Oh, Lock my gosh. In. That was nasty, Bless. Good job, S'mores and Oreos, though. You fought that one, bro. You were in yeah, that. Yeah, GG's on that. You were in there. All right, is it back to me and Mike? Back to you and I, bro. We're back in this, dude. Wait, I missed oh, it. Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> I was lost in um, Emmett's timeline. I couldn't find what they were talking about. Oh, yeah, you couldn't find it? Yeah. Maybe they do have a good taste in video games outside of PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. That's the thing, is like, here's the thing with Emmett's taste in video games Emmett is passionate about very specific games that, like, you wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily which I, re them, which like, I respect because I feel yeah. like both you and I bless have that same passion for other games that That's people thing, would like, consider great. <laughs> and like Emmett's favorite game of all time is Saints Row 4. And like Saints Row 4, I would like I I wouldn't have guessed that would have been anybody's favorite game of all time, mm. but it's also not a bad game, so I can't hate on it. Like Saints Row 4 is a good game. Titanfall 2, fantastic game. Like, that's a game that actually, actually a lot of people stand for. Mm. PlayStation Battle Royale. I, I, I'm not one to judge, you know what I mean? Like, not a terrible game. I can, I can see how somebody would fall in love with that. Risk of Rain 2, I've heard a lot of great things. Oh, we had fun with Risk of Rain 2. Me, yeah. uh, me, uh, me, Andy, and Nick, we like that. It's the same, it's the same exact way that, like, me and Barrett fucking love DK64, and, like, how I love Jet Force Gemini. <laughs> Dude, look at that kick across the, the stage. And speaking of Donkey Kong, we really got to plan out Donktober this year, Bless. Oh, yeah. I mean, we got, what, 10 months? Yeah. Or we didn't celebrate it at all last year. You didn't year, do right? this. I know. Yeah, you got yeah, to make did. up Donktober. We're going gonna to have the um, studio, too. Yeah. Nice. 
Nice. That Terry Bogard. Terry's fast. Unlocking some potential. That's a massive combo, though. I'm trying to see. Like, I, f I feel like she doesn't have many special moves is the thing that I'm struggling with a little bit. I'm, like, trying to test things out, but there's not much she's doing aside from, like, this punch right here. That barely has any reach. Oh, man. I was just trying to get up. Bear for Donktober, I definitely want to play Jungle. No, Tropical Freeze. Oh, so good. Because I've never played Tropical Freeze. Before. So good. That whip has range. Oh, God, now I gotta keep you at bay with the whip, with the range. I am surprised she doesn't have more specials. But I guess she's so good at, like, melee that you almost don't really need him. Get off of me! Ah, I just can't get out of it. <laughs> I just can't get it. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat says somebody in chat. I don't even know if that's possible to like put together at this <laughs> point. Because you need the you need the bongos, I think, for that, right? And a Wii, right? A or is that the GameCube one? Oof. GameCube's easily accessible, bro. Oh no, you gotta get out of that lady. <laughs> uh, here, oh, what's no. zoning? Bore Borealis in chat keeps asking about Power Stone. I've actually never, I've never played Power Stone. I, um, I feel like Power Stone is a made up game and they're just making it up. That's, what, see, that's what I thought. I thought it was an anime they kept asking about. Yeah. I don't know about Power Stone. <laughs> I think it was month one or two of me being kind of funny because I think this is in the studio that somebody brought up Power Stone and I was like, what the fuck is Power, Power Stone? Stone? And it was Tim and Imran. I think they are like, oh, bro, like Power Stone is the shit. It was a Dreamcast yeah. game. Well, why are you, okay, games. yeah, so it's a three, it's a Capcom Idios uh, interactive game that was Dreamcast and it was like a 2D fighting game. Why are you asking me about my thoughts on this game? <laughs> Woo! I think he was, because he was asking me earlier and I didn't get an answer. So I think he's just like mm. making the rounds. Uh, okay. It's like somebody's going to answer me about Power Stone, you know, damn it. You know here's Power here's my thoughts on Power Stone. Stone. <laughs> Thought it was made up until I looked up the Wikipedia. <laughs> Now you, now you know. Did, now did you anybody know. here own a Dreamcast? I always uh, wanted to. I did not own a Dreamcast. No, that was... Friends that, who owned yeah, Dreamcast. friends Yeah, owned like I had Dreamcast. friends who owned a Dreamcast. And those like, were the I friends wanted, we made fun of, you know? Yeah. I wanted it bad because of, uh, of Sonic um, Adventure. Mm. Okay, also, people... Like, uh, chat's a, correcting me. Apparently everybody in chat has heard of Power Stone because they're about all a bunch of nerds who are correcting me. It's a 3D uh, arena fighting game. Here's the thing, I hate arena fighters. That's why I'd never play uh, anime fighting games, because they're always arena fighters. I, I really don't like them. You're not alone, Barrett. A lot of people do not like arena fighters. They just feel so odd. Like, but like I, I remember I, trying out My Hero, and My Hero was just awful. Well, um, My Hero was bad. That's the thing. It's like, My Hero well, even good, like even bad. ones that people consider good, I just don't like, you know? You like Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm? Yeah, don't like that shit. People, yeah, I think people did like that one. My thing is, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi Aichi 3, and all those games, honestly, still remain in like some of my favorite games of all time. But I don't think I've played another Arena Fighter that I've liked. Someone asked, what one. about Jump Force? What about it? <laughs> what about Jump Force? I was so disappointed by Jump Force because I was convinced that game was going to be good. I was like, guys, trust me. I played the game at PAX. It plays well. But like, what I didn't realize is that like, I played Jump Force at PAX right after playing My Hero at PAX. And the My Hero game was so bad that it made Jump Force seem good. <laughs> I was like, certainly Jump Force is great. Because My Hero is slow and floaty and just not good. And like, Jump Force is like fast enough where I was like, oh, no, this is going to be good. The game was not good. Go, bro, go. Get after Guy V right now. Guy V, you gotta step up, big dog. I need you right now. <laughs> there you step go, up, Guy V. Guy V, step up and defeat the champ, please. Defeat this man. Yeah, oh, man. 
man. He was, you're locked in Ivy. with that one, bro. You're locked in. Ivy was using a, you taking advantage of that range. Good try. Ivy, you did well, though. You took him down 90%. That's a big deal right there. First character, 90%. Got a little boost, Ooh, though. You got this, Ivy. with projectiles. You got this, this guy, guy, v. You tough me. There we go. Yeah, Guy V is making yes. this fight. Virtual Fighter is another one I wish I got into more. I've mm. tried Virtual Fighter 5 both back on PS3 and with the Ultimate Edition last year. And it's so hard for me to get into Virtual Fighter. I feel like I need friends that play that game. And maybe I'll get into it. Okay, okay. But like, I just from the gameplay by itself, for some reason it just doesn't click with me. Like, oh man. You know you want to throw something at me. Go guy B. What's happening right now is guy He's B knows he can't. With you. Yeah, I see he you knows doing he can't that. do projectiles is the thing. Cause I I'll, see I'll you just, doing like, that. Oh shit. Oh, God, oh yeah, there you go. There you go. Talk too soon. Talk that talk. Ivy, you're so dude, close. Ivy bro. might finally see the third character. Ivy, dude, you're doing it, bro. You're doing it. <laughs> Would you call Persona Strikers an arena fighter? Persona Strikers is not a fighter. That's the soccer game. <laughs> exactly. No, that's like a hack and slash. It's like a. That was like a, almost like a Muso game, actually. It's like Dynasty Warriors. Oh. You're good, Guy V. You're good. Don't deter. Don't deter from the plan. Y'all are oh talking about God. Persona Strikers? Yeah, yeah, somebody was asking if it's an Arena Fighter. No, that's a Muso game. Persona 4 Arena Ultimax is a 2D fighter, though. Yeah, and I cannot fucking... Mike, we're going to stream some Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Yeah, Ultimax, so baby. Okay, okay, okay. Here, is that the one you're going to jump into? Oh, hell yeah. I want to play for the story. Oh. IV. Here we go. Good enough. It's uh, Let's there's the like fighter. canon uh, story follow ups in Persona 4 mm. Arena Ultimax. Hell yeah. Did you ever play the dancing games? <clears throat> uh, I did for work at IGN, but that's when I was like not as into Persona. Um, like into like all of the lore between all of the games and stuff. So, like, I played them for capture. I think I, I, I did go through all of Persona 5 dancing though. Oh. Um, but I'm waiting to play Persona 4 Dancing uh, until I uh, beat Arena Ultimax because I think like Persona 4 Dancing is also canon, but it's either in a different timeline or after the events of uh, the fighting game, uh, from what I've been told from Goldfarb. Um, and I, I do want to get to the Persona 3 uh, Dancing stuff as well, but um, I still need to finish uh, watching the new content from Persona 3 FES, the added content. Oh yeah! Now, I bless says, you, running amok right now in this oh, one. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta pick my characters. Emmett, you need to know my gaming taste. I tagged Baird in a tweet. I have a desk to build today, so I gotta go back to lurking. Okay, okay. Well, Baird, we'll look up that tweet. We'll see what he says. Sure, we'll look at like it. GG app, favorite games of all time, probably. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm trying mm -hmm. to find. But also, shout out right now. Don't forget, we're having a fun sponsored stream with Epic Games. Because today's big release, or I should say yesterday's, but this week's big release is the King of Fighters 15. Remember, you can buy it on all consoles and platforms, but if you're going to buy it on the PC, use the Epic Game Store in our Epic Creator Code. Kind of funny at checkout. You can support the team. You can type in exclamation point Epic throughout the stream to uh, find the link to buy it on the Epic Game Store if you want to support us. Here's better. what I'll say. I'm looking at Emma's top 100 games right now. Mm -hmm. Emma has immaculate taste in video games. Immaculate. Emma, Emma has great taste. He just talks about the same games over and over again, but he Yo, fucking has great taste. Oh my god, he's got like a whole fucking Twitter thread here. Guy V has gifted another tier one sub out to the community. Thank you, oh, wow. Guy V, and yeah. here we go. He has a 
he has a GG app page with his like 100 listed. And Shadow Colossus is number two. That's how I know a man has great taste, is when Shadow Colossus is number two. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's go, let's go S'mores and Oreos, lock in. Yeah, S'mores and Oreos is not playing around now. S'mores, S'mores and Oreos, oh, that you're looking at the wrong screen, he's like, I got this guy. He's trying to get revenge. There we go, S'mores and Oreos. Oh. oh, there goes oh. Angel. Uh -oh. uh oh, Blessing's got a problem now. Oh. Blessing's gonna have to. Take oh, you know what I might be thinking of because they they have it ranked higher than Uncharted Four. Is uh, I think Emmett is on the in the camp of Uncharted Two is better than Uncharted Four. I think that's where I think we that's argue from at. time to time. Oh, nice deflect though, bro. Oh, here he comes with King. Okay, Emmett also has Mafia 3 in uh, at number 16, and I gotta fucking respect that, because Mafia 3 is fucking See? dope. Like, Emmett, is, Emmett doesn't have bad taste, he just has specific taste, which yeah. I always, like, I, I respect that. You're looking. Come on, s'mores and Oreos. Oh, the turnaround right now, huh? I'm not letting you see that third character. S'mores and Oreos. Even though they're, uh, this character's tough. That they're playing as Dinosaur. Oh, great job, Bless. Thank you. He's just locked in right now, folks. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. You got a lineup. You got a lineup, huh? Yeah, dude, I got a lineup right now. Like, I. It's wild. I did. I wasn't playing uh, as these characters that much during the mm -hmm. review period. Like, I played a little bit of uh, Athena here, but like Angel, I think I used maybe once. Um. But like now that I've I've found these two, like they have the perfect back and forth of like going all melee and then all projectile. Oh, so this is such a fun game. I might switch it up after this round for my characters to make it more interesting. So canonically, is that a uh, guy wearing a dinosaur costume or <laughs> Is he a dinosaur man? He is wearing a dinosaur costume. At least that's what I've been told. He unhinged his jaw. There's no way that's a costume. Who's my Smash main? I like Young Link. Round one. Ready? Go. Oh. 
No, 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 oh! You're doing fine? Nice. There we go! There you go, Turn Mike. it on right now, turn it on! Come on, Yuri. Yuri on ice? Yuri Lowenthal. Gotcha. God, that was a long jump you just did. Nice, good counters. Oh. Oh. Mafia 3's navigation system deserves a massive shout out. It blends in perfectly and looks great. Is that true, Barrett? Um. I've always thought about playing Mafia 3. It's. Just for the story, though, because I know it has a good story. It's a great story. Um. I don't quite remember the navigation system, so. Yeah, I, I can't really comment on that. To be fair, that's like that's not a thing I remember often in games, the navigation. But um, I mean, you remember the GTA now. I, I will, I oh, will yeah. say that, that GTA Five GPS is fantastic. Yeah, GPS and on the ground, I mean, it's the best. Right? And I do, I do think if you play Today Blessing, you're gonna be like, oh, like, yeah, I guess the open world's a little basic, but why were people so down on it? Like, it was so buggy at launch, but I think they've kind of fixed a lot of that. Mm. And so when you get to just play the game, you're like, oh, okay, like. It's not anything revolutionary, but it's like a fun, just kind of simple open world where you're going around and taking out mob bosses and shit, so. Dude, that would be a great podcast topic of, like, what games have the best navigation systems or, like, the best waypoint systems. Because, like, somebody in chat mentioned Ghost of Tsushima, mm. and, like, I fucking love the the way that game handles it, handles it with the wind. That's yeah, a good, I that's love a the Saints Throw for changing up the game way back in the day. Having all the navigation systems elevated from Grand Theft Auto 3 into that was really something Saints special. Row? Yeah, Saints Row changed up the game. What was it? How did Saints Row do? I forget. Was that like where it's on Saints the Saints Row was the when it started itself? to go on the, yeah, on the ground itself mm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Greg Miller says he could beat you in this video game. Bring it on, Greg Miller. Hello, Greg Miller. We need more people to, to jump in. Oh, whoops, I pressed the button. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to switch up my party a little bit. Let's go Shermie. She's like a more of a grapple character, which usually isn't my jam, but I want to I want to try her out. Um, let's go Robert Garcia, who I know nothing about. And then, you know what? Let's go Shune, who's one of the new main characters for this game, who I like because he has a cape and some headphones, which if I was a fighting game character, I think I'd rock that. Mm -hmm. That'd be my outfit. Mm -hmm. It's like, let me listen to a soundtrack while I'm beating your ass, you know? Let me put on some um, some, some of that new, the new, new NOS while we're throwing hands. Play some Future. All right, here we go. The matchup. Guy V back again looking for We got a poll in the here. chat. How badly would Greg beat Bless in this game? The options are so bad or he'd win, but not by much. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Whoever created that. He already challenged you to a wrestling game, Greg, just so you know. He wants yeah, to Greg play. That part? He wants to wrestle against you, Greg. He thinks he can beat you in a wrestling game. I, listen, I didn't say all that. I just said I wanted to start a wrestling league. Well, when, the the next, wrestling league. when the next WWE game or AEW game or whatever wrestling game comes out, I want to do like a kind of funny league, Greg. Where we all make our own character and we play the parts. What we should do. Okay, hold up, hold up. Hold hear me oh, out. He's here. oh, he's here. First off, you said I was just having all fun and games in the fighting thing because obviously mm -hmm. you're going to kick my ass and beat my ears back. But like we're talking about wrestling stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff to talk about. That. Yeah, I'm all in on this. But what everyone here on Twitch chat needs to know what Blessing needs to know. And I forget, I think I might have hit up Mike and said I had a great idea during a fraternity leave, or maybe I just said it to Tim. Who's that? 
during paternity leave, I got super inspired to do kind of funny wrestling, KFW. Oh, and yes. make us all in Fire Pro, I was going to do since it's already out. And there's a great simulation tool for that. And you can make your own rings and all that crap. I was going to do it. I was going to make everybody. And then I wanted it to be that me and Mike were like just commentators. And so we would do it where we would, the matches would be simulated and we would sit here and talk about it and do all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. I pitched it to Tim. I told Andy, make the graphic, make a, a KFW logo. Then Tim and I liked the idea so much. We actually were like, stop, stop. We're going to have somebody actually like, you know, a graphic designer and do like a motion graphic. And like that way we can do like a show and pay-per-views and like basically pivot my streaming day since right now is review. What does this smell like? Review season. Review season. Pivot my my stream day to where we're not playing things for review and there aren't big games coming. Pivot it to be just a like a weekly wrestling show where we do it Ooh, and then yeah, I love this. Everybody can be their character. We can film intros. We can do pay per views and all this different stuff, right? I shit you not. Tim's pulling the trigger, talking to the people, yada yada yada, and I see our friend, our former. RTX Guardian, Aaron Porter, who we helped get his job at Achievement Hunter, tweet out about AHW. <laughs> and I was like, huh, that sounds like what I was. And I'm like, I, and I text him, like, what is this AHW thing? And he's like, oh, we, we did this a couple of months ago or whatever ago where we did an Achievement Hunter wrestling thing and we're getting ready to do another thing. I'm doing a season of it. And then we're, I'm like, oh my God, well, just so you know, I had independently the same idea and I'm going to push forward with it. And I, I'm not ripping you off. And he's like, oh, of course. I mean, this is all very friendly and jovial. He's like, oh, of course not. Blah, 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 blah. Um, the first episode went live and I watched it and I was like, no, I will not. I like ours will pale. Like when we're back in the studio, <laughs> I think so that's funny. when we can do they, They're hilarious. doing, they are doing literally what I would have in a dream world done where it's like they have the announced table. They have the character outfits. Like I was going to have us all in our, you know, apartments like right now, like record our little bits and our little, you know, pro wrestling things. But they're like doing exactly what I would want to do when we're all in person. And I was like, you know what? I'm still gonna do it. Like again, like I don't think. I, obviously, you can have as many wrestling promotions in the world, but it was like at this point, I might as well wait. Like you were just mentioned, I think uh, the new WWE games coming out in March. I'm tentatively excited. You know what I mean? Like I'm excited. I'm. I definitely want to stream that with Mike. Period. Let alone if we're gonna do the league thing with it or Fire Pro later on. But it was that thing of like, ooh, okay. Like I, <laughs> I don't want to come out with a product that's not. I don't, again, like. We're not competing with Achievement Hunter. They're our friends, obviously. But it is that thing of like, wow, they're doing it so right. Yeah, that I don't like if we're going to do it, we want to like knock it out of the park now. My thing was like, I was thinking when I thought when I didn't know about them doing it, I was like, oh, we can kind of build the plane as we go. Like I could have I was thinking I could come back, t tell you all the ideas. And then, you know, we do multiple streams where I'm creating the, the wrestlers and we're talking it out and just bullshitting around while I make wrestlers like I used to back in the day. And it was that thing of like, wow, they're so they're they are so on top of it that I was like, you know what? Like, I need to, whatever, figure it out. I still think, yeah, hopefully, knock on wood, the new WWE game is good, and we like it enough to keep playing and do stuff. And then, yeah, I think it'll be the same thing where we'll sit down and, like, okay, cool. Like, I didn't even know, like, I'm a Fire Pro uh, fan off of the new one, right? And I haven't gotten deep into a WWE game in a while. And so, like, one of the things I love about Fire Pro is the creation suite and how much you can do with it and upload your own logos and blah, blah, blah. And then I saw the stuff they're doing for Achievement Hunter with the WD game. Like, wow, that's also what I wanted to do in Fire Pro. And even if we don't wrestle in it, the game's just good. It works, you know, for what we want to do. So, yes, this is an idea that I had. And then I looked at them and I was like, they did it so right that I don't want to half-ass it to start off with. Hell yeah. Now I got now I got to watch the Achievement Hunter thing. Because, yeah, Mike's so good, everybody. Yeah, I go didn't check know out it was that cool. HW. Yeah, and I was like, you know, I mean, he's like, maybe we can cross over one day. I'm like, yeah, it'd be great. But, but, but. Oh yeah, like whenever, whenever we do it, I'm in. Like I, I totally want to do this because like it's been a it's been a long time. I was saying that like the last wrestling game I got super into was SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, mm -hmm. and like when I got into it, I got into it. Like that's the game that I basically 100%ed because I like, you know, I I did all the storyline stuff. I did the uh, manage your wrestling uh, corporation thing. Like I did all the creative character stuff. Like I did every single thing that you could do in that game. Uh, and I miss doing that. So like I'm 100% yeah, down for anything. Yeah, that's why again, thing. even if like we didn't like do the league or commit to it i'm hoping that the game's good enough that me and mike bullshit around with it for a few streams and hang out hell yeah yeah so that's my thing how you guys doing pretty good I haven't fun King of Fighters. Fun. yeah i've good. been on a winning streak that i was not expecting like even when i chose different characters <laughs> i'm still turns out i'm good with shermy i've been saying for years you're the best with shermy you are i should have believed you, you are i know it's shermy <laughs> You excited that, for this Vita stream on Tuesday? I am. Yeah, I am. Are you? I'm very excited. I haven't figured out what uh, outfit I'm going to wear yet. Sure. I got to look back. I haven't, like, worn a suit in a while. Sure. Oh, man. You want to talk, like, wow. talk about the fear there. 
I'm doing what they like to call a little bit of Russian roulette here. I'm, I'm pushing it to the limit, ladies and gentlemen. Hosting the Dice Awards a week from today. I haven't tried on any of these suits, and there's been a pandemic <laughs> between me wearing a suit and now. Let's see how bad this is going to fucking go. But you know what? I'm not going to worry about it right now. Yeah, that's next week's uh, Greg's problem. That's, you know? that's this week, Greg's weekend problem of like, oh, shoot, we got to go to the department right, store try and try to find something. <gasps> Spores and Oreos took that first when I said I was on a winning streak. He was like, alright, fuck that. Alright, I got a bunch of embargo games to go play. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye, Greg. Have fun. Have fun. I can't believe he's playing Uncharted 5. He's yeah, like, right? It's like they haven't even announced it yet, and they already put out codes. It's wild. Uh, Robo Borealis wanted to know if Greg Miller knew Power Stone. Ah, uh, we missed that question. Oh, my yeah, we should ask missed him. It just I moment. doubt it. Uh, he was a Sega. Well, no. Yeah, he was a well, Sega he had a kid. Genesis. I don't think he had a green cast, but he's also an oldie. Know. I, yeah, feel like I don't know if he was into fighting practice. games like that, mm. though, you know? Power Stone gives you the vibes of it was more like a party game where everybody played it. Mm. Okay. Because I don't hear Power Stone talk about, like, with, like, Street Fighter and Capcom and stuff. It's more like, oh, man, you had a dream Again, cast. I'd never heard of it, and then everybody in the chat was like, oh, my God, how have you never heard of this game? It's like when uh, Live Alive got announced uh, last yeah. week's uh, Which that Nintendo game Direct, cool. and then every video game hitster was like, oh, my God, it's my favorite game Oh, my game God, of I can't believe they bring back Live Alive. It's like, bro, what the fuck is this? I've never <laughs> heard of this. Like, dude, You've shut never up. brought this game up. Shut the fuck up. You heard about it <laughs> today. The only person, the only person I, believe. I believe is Per Schneider. Yeah. Because he wrote a whole thread about it, and he's also the king of video games. And so, like, yeah, yeah, I believe him when he said that he knows what Live a Live is. Everybody else, I'm like, you guys did not know what this game was. Stop lying. Now, Smores and Oreos back, back here for some revenge. Yeah, oh. not holding back. Look at this. There you go, Smores and Took Oreos. Swords and Oreos did, might be the one to, did sit, to snatch did my chain. Yeah, uh-huh. You did switch out of your normal threesome here. Yeah. I mean, I was doing great with Shermie, but then, like, with that mm -hmm. second character, he, he just came through and uh, turned things around. But now I'm back with Athena. Now we're locked in, ready to rock. Ooh, just out of range. Big blocks right there coming from King. Just locking in. Cool. Oh, S'mores and Oreos. Just put the guard up, bro. Yeah, oh. S'mores and Oreos, they locked in. They for real. Trying like, to defend on yeah. King. Doesn't want to go down to the final fighter. But we're here. Bless at half health. Gonna probably be up to 60%. No, 75 they're gonna give you. So this is almost a pretty clean match right now. 1v1. Big. Cam Blessing make the big comeback. There's a nice one right there. A little bit of range. Says get back. Give me some space. Another one. Half and half. Even health bar right now. Let's go. Oh my! Oh! The block is up. The guard is going. Here we go. Turn it on, bless. Oh my! It's so close here, folks. It's down to the wire. Blessing about the teacher lesson on the comeback. Oh, oh my gosh, this is insane. Oh. Wow. That, my, hands, my hands are sweaty. That was a good game. GGs. That was a good yeah, fucking game right there. That was a that really was a good, good fight. Good game, man. Woo. That was really good. Holy snap. What that felt a like game. evil for a second. Down to the wire. Cool. Great job between you and S'mores and Oreos. Swords and Oreo is going to snatch your chain and take first place right here. Yeah. Get it out. All right. Good job. And it looks like we got some more people. Yeah, we got some I more think people. I think in the lobby here. is right. That's awesome, y'all. I'm having, like, man, my heart's beating. Great job, Swords and Oreo. That, that was, was really good. good. That was a really good fight. Mm, let's see. Who do I like? Who do I play as? I like Vanessa. Okay. I like this guy. 
<laughs> Gaspain says, bless his triangle strategy on your radar at all. Uh, no, I think it looks really cool. I might try the demo. Um, it's tough because, like, again, it's, you smell in the air, it's review season. Uh, so I don't have enough time to, like, try out all the games I want to try out. But, like, I feel like the demo will, will set the tone for if I want to play more of that game or not. You know, it looks really cool. It's just not necessarily my genre. It's kind of like Metal Slug, where I kind of want to try it out, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm doubtful that I'll get all the way into it. Man, that was such a good match. Select order. All right, so Mike's got Vanessa, Terry, and Yuri. He's got the dinosaur back. Oh, man. Love the end. Um, bless. In the background, I'm playing Pokemon Legends Arceus, and it's just like... When I get to the the story stuff, it's just like let, just let me play the game. That's what I that's what I'm saying. I was playing that game on stream uh, Sunday, and I started to get into the rhythm of it, and I was enjoying it more. But then they would hit me with so much dialogue, and I was like, "This is Pokemon! <laughs> like, what are we doing just here? Just let me just let me catch let the me catch, Pokemon. Let me catch the Pokemon. Just let me catch them all. They're doing all this talking." It's funny too because like generally when it comes to Pokemon, I'm like, man, give me more interesting story. Like, just, I wish Pokemon had more to work with. And this game is kind of doing that, but I'm also like, all right, but like, shut up, let me just play more. You know, I'm I'm kind of in that uh. Yes, boss, oh, yes! Unsatisfiable. If you want to give me more interesting animal. story, hell yeah. I just don't think the story is very interesting. Yeah, I feel you there. But you know what is interesting? This fight. It's close oh. right now. Yeah, Mike, Mike versus... He's hit me with that smoke Oreos. bomb. Ah, smoke and Oreos, take that, bro. Oh, yeah. Mike off to a strong start. That's in buttons, baby. Probably go up to about 40% health here. 30%. Oh, this this lady looks like she's straight out of uh, a video game that I recently played. What was that game called? Oh, my gosh, on Xbox. Fantasy Star Online. Fantasy Star Online. Yeah. Lady looks like she's ripped right out of that one. Oh. Oh my gosh. Gave her the butt bounce right there. It's epic stage. Yeah, this stage is insane. The music reminds me of just that cowboy guy that just screams in those memes all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, yeah! That's good. That was such yeah, a specific no. call out. <laughs> that is so specific, and I would, not have, I would not have connected those things together until you said it. Oh, I'm playing games with you. Whoa. Whoa, it's the big guy. Bless, I'm in like a space-time continuum fucking thing oh, in Pokemon massive. right now. What the hell? Really? Yeah. So the story goes places. Well, this is more gameplay, I would say, than story. I don't know what it's going to do to me right now. You're just in an interesting area? Or get a Blastoise hit you with Hydro Pump and it just blasted you to a different dimension? It's oriented your life. <laughs> Like, oh shit, I'm, back. I'm in 2021 right now. I don't know what this means. <laughs> Blast Eater, present day sit up. Man, this is a fight. Yo, Mike is throwing it down. I think he's being nice to me, but I'm liking it. <laughs> I think Damn, I think all right, Mike. Oreos played with his controller upside down, but gave me a nice one right there. Thank you, Sports <laughs> Oreos. I see Emma's back in chat. Emma, I, I, I don't know if that you heard me dope. before. You that probably did. Emma, shout out to your top 100 list. I'm looking through it right now, right? Like, Nier Automata being here at top 10. Fucking fantastic. That's taste. I like that lady. Right there. That is taste. Along with Shadow Colossus being your number two. I, like I didn't realize he looked like even that much. Life is Strange being your number 11. Again, taste. Who are you? Astrobot being number 15. Taste, Emmett. Jackbox Party Pack being number 18. I respectable. I get it. I like Vanessa. Here's an interesting one, though. 
Gotham City Imposters at number 22. That's a solid list. pick. God, solid pick. Is it though? <laughs> you when know, that like, game first came out, it was very good. Very good time. I played good a little time. bit of that Gotham City Imposters. It was unique to say to say the least. It was it was different, you know. It was interesting. I don't know if I liked it, but it was, it was an interesting game. I feel like I forced my friends to play that actually semi recently on Steam, and oh boy, oh boy, no, it didn't age it well. Like that. No, it didn't age well. It didn't age well. <laughs> oh. I see uh, Lost Legacy is also Emmett's favorite Uncharted, it looks like, which uh, I'm right there with that, you. Uh, that all I respect, but having two above four, I don't, I don't respect. Oh, does he have two above? Oh, yeah, it looks like he does. We'll stop this show. Ooh, Ape Out's on here. Ape Out's a great game. Ape Out is fantastic. Round one. Ready? This is what I was going to suggest, uh, actually, until uh, Greg hopped in and I forgot to mention it. But, like, I could imagine us doing that wrestling thing with the WWE game and combining it with, like, a D&D &D campaign. Where it's wrestling style, D&D, oh. &D &D, and, like, the action uh, combat sequences happen in-game. <coughs> huh. That'd be, that'd be tough pretty. to put together because you probably have to manage like, okay, but how do stats come into play and like? Yeah, that'd be uh, a lot for whoever the um, the dungeon master is, you know. Yeah, but at the very least, I think the story and improv bits done in like a D and D style could have potential. Could be really cool. Nobody steal that idea if you're watching this. Mike, copy that right. Uh, copy that. Uh, copyright that idea right now. Yeah, there we go. Copyright it. Oh, man. Good job right there, Guy B. Also, shout out to Khalif. What up, Ka? How are you, homie? Oh, what's good, Khalif? Khalif, hop into some King of Fighters 15. You beat my ass 15 times as Raiden in Mortal Kombat. And I want that I want that revenge. <laughs> I want that sweet revenge. Oh, hop into King of Fighters so 15, Khalif. in Mortal Kombat. Oh, my. Whenever I see Khalif, when I see his username pop up in Mortal Kombat, it strikes fear into my heart. I'm like, oh, no. And then I see him choose Raiden. I'm like, oh no. Yeah. Then you know you got a problem. Get me out of here. Then you know you got a problem. Then it's like, oh shit. Oh, my controller's dead. I can't play. You need a code, and you're down for some runs. Hit him up. If you need to connect, I'll holler at me. Oh, we traded. Massive trade. Massive trade. I need another one to drop a like, fighting game this year. Okay, bless. I figured out what the uh, space-time distortions do. They, um, in areas that like Pokemon technically don't belong, they'll get like transported there. So right now I'm fighting a Kadabra that like was not here, like 20 seconds ago. You're like you're in the ocean. It's really like, scary. Kadabra just swimming there. He's like, help, please! I'm drowning. My sidekick doesn't help here. That's actually pretty interesting. That's cool. Ah! Bump, bump. Oh man, try to bounce that booty on him. Oh, you need the room Kento. code, not the game code. I see, I see. DJ Kento closing in on 700 gifted subs today. Wow. Four away from 700 gifted subs here to the Twitch channel. Thank you so much, DJ Kento, for all the support through all the years. And for gifting those subs out to the community, man. Rayman here says, Bless, which do you like more between Forbidden West and Ghost of Tsushima? Uh, listen to the latest episode of PS Love UXOXL. You'll get the answer. Oh, does he make that comparison? Find out. Oh, my gosh! Creed I got so lucky, DNF Guy V. Let's go, bro. Wait, did Mike win, win that one? I did it. Oh, oh let's God, go. It he almost Hell had yeah. me, too. He pushed me hard on that final character. Creed says DNF Duel. DNF Duel is on my radar. My thing is, like, as far as I'm aware, there's three fighting games coming out this year between King of Fighters uh, Persona 4, Ultimax, and then DNF Duel, which I'm down for. Like, you know, that sounds like a fun year, but I need like I need one that's gonna get everybody into it. That's why. Yeah, I need uh, Khalif, we're on uh, PlayStation. Vanessa might not be my lady, y'all. I might need a different person than Vanessa. You're not rocking with Vanessa. She just doesn't match the play styles of my other two people. She's a little bit different. 
I'm more of like a, I need a long kick. I need a long middle range kick is what I'm looking for here. Kyle, let me see if I can send you an invite too. Our room might be full, but if that's the case, you know, I'll just, I'll just kick somebody. I'll, I'll roll a dice. Let me be this lady. No. Yeah. I'm going to try somebody new. Let me figure out cause username. Let's see, can I not search? Oh, yes, I can. Ooh, flamed, flamed beacon. Good for you. Try it out, Death Store. Great time. We talked about it a lot on the X Cast. Someone Great say, uh, second best game of last year. Mm, second best game last year, Hitman 3. Oh, he's got to buy it first. <laughs> <laughs> Hitman 3. Hitman 3, yeah. Second best game of last year, uh, Deathloop. Right after Returnal. Oh. Oh, you got some sort of freaky slide going on here, bro. Casino Bala. You know how you know you know when you know it's a good good KFG. Uh, I can't talk. When you know it's a good KFGD, <laughs> is when you want to hop in the conversation. Because like this morning they were talking about um, how good of a game uh, year it is so far this year between like Horizon and like Elden Ring, possibly like oh! possibly be in the game of the year conversation at the end of the year. And I wanted to hop in and be like, yo, like Sifu, Horizon, and like. Elden Ring, presumably, uh, when it comes out, like our three games that I could have seen being in my top three last year, let alone like already in February of this year. You know, that's how you know it's a good year. Oh, this guy's good, bro. This guy, whoever this jabroni is, Joe, bro. Joe's, Joe's got game. Joe has that stance where if you're Joe, about to fight somebody and they stand like that, it's like, no, I'm not fighting you anymore. You're like, sir, I got to go catch a taxi cab right now. Yeah, I'm it's sorry. like, bro, I have a family. I got to survive. I'm not fighting you. Like, if you're standing like that, you got the thing where you're like one foot is on the toe and then your two arms are in the air like this. I'm like, no, I'm not fighting you, bro. Get the fuck away from me. Uh, May's got an interesting style here. And Pokemon uh. Legends Arceus. I forgot about that too, yeah. Like that game being good is a uh, is huge. I don't know if it it's good. I don't know if we're gonna be talking yeah. about it for game of the year at the end of the year though, you know. From the reviews, I expect like maybe like a a group of people will be talking about it. Like those hardcore nice Pokemon Casino Baller. Fans. Holy snap, bro. Casino Baller! Chat, correct me if I'm wrong. That last guy, um that casino was playing as Joe. Their stance looked like, or his stance looked like it was like Muay Thai oh. stance. And if it's I had to choose, if I had to choose any fighting style to not fight against, I think it would be Muay Thai. Ah. I would never want to fight somebody who's who who knows Muay Thai because that's all elbows and knees. And I'm not fucking around with that. <laughs> it's the hardest parts of your body. You're telling me you're gonna elbow me in the head, break my skull? Nah. Yeah, that was that. fun, Casino Baller. Good stuff right there, bro. Did he win? No, no. Oh. He <laughs> he has this really good slide kick. He's he's really good at like running this slide kick that I can't stop at all. It's it's cool, very cool stuff. And then if he brings out Joe, he's gonna hit you with the tornado hurricane. He's gonna catch you up in the updraft. He's gonna give you a combo. He's then hit you with the slide kick. He's got game, bro. Yeah. And I like it, man. Also, shout out to everybody watching right now. It is the top of the hour, which means I'm going to hit you with a block of Twitch ads. Remember, if you're subscribed with the tier one through three sub, or if you have Amazon Prime, you have Prime Gaming, you get that one free monthly sub. The best part, you get ad free viewing, so you don't got to watch Twitch ads. If you aren't subscribed, don't worry. You get to support us in a way of 
watching Twitch ads each and every hour. So I'm going to hit you with a block of ads. Don't forget, today's stream is sponsored by Epic Games. We're out here promoting the King of Fighters 15 that just released now on all consoles across the globe and on PC with the Epic Games Store. So if you're interested in jumping into the fighting game, if you want to play the King of Fighters 15 over on PC, you could buy it through the Epic Games Store right now. And you can use our Epic Creator Code, kind of funny, at checkout to support us in a brand new way. It's no additional cost to you. And you can support the team in a fun way. You uh, type an exclamation point epic throughout the stream. You can go over to the link and check it out. But with that, let's run some ads. Good tornado. Now, this should be a good fight right here. This should... Casino Baller's coming out with some energy, and I like that. Casino Baller's got some game with this new character, Joe. Oh, great fights right there. Ooh, yeah, Casino's been practicing. I can see this. Casino Baller's got game, bro. Casino's been practicing. Casino you knows those you mechanics. out of your seat right there. Yeah, I had to adjust real quick. All right, Blessing coming out with character number two. Gonna have to reevaluate here. Oh, that flying kick is just yeah. nasty across the screen right there. Adam is asking about reviews of Horizon Forbidden West on PS4. Oh I imagine um, Digital Foundry is probably working on something if they don't have. I think I get uploaded up. a video. Of yeah, we usually PS4. try to get like a. I say we like I'm still there. You say um, I was gonna say. Do you say we? Yeah. Um, I still wow, think of man. myself as uh, IGN. Kind of go back to IGN, huh? Yeah. I just been hanging out with Dorno a lot lately. That's what that's what's got me here. Uh, nostalgic. Um, back when I was working there, we would try to have uh, graphics comparisons up as soon as possible. So, yeah, I think uh, Mark Medina worked on that one. Oh, nice job, Bless. Nice job. Let's even it up here. Two fires apiece, bro. Oh, is that? Oh, no, it's Perry. Never mind. Yeah, or no, it's my it's out. Me. Yeah. This one's, a, this one's a pretty interesting character here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know her deal. I don't think I've bought her before. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. Some big guards right now. Big blocks. A massive moment <laughs> right there, folks. Oh, oh I choked. Oh man, it's it's the worst when you see where things went wrong. You know, <laughs> where it's like, oh, I know what I should have done. I didn't execute. Tracking all the steps that led to that outcome right there, but you got an opportunity here. High on the health bar compared to theirs, you got a moment. Exciting moment for me, my Quilava just uh, evolved into a uh, Typhlosion. Heck yeah, Pokemon. bro, you know about that Typhlosion, bro? There it is. Oh, massive. Must have. Oh, wow. Okay. Could this be your comeback, bro? Could this be another comeback situation here? Here we go. Oh, he's got Terry. Terry in his all black gear. Bro, that all black Terry is wicked, bro. Yeah, he's got it, bro. So he has oh, Sherman with a big move, though. Black the double triple energy. suplex, the quadruple suplex. Massive moments. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh, oh yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Absolutely what nothing. A dope finisher right there. I was there, gonna break man. my block. Great work. GG's. Oh man. Good this one, that's right one of the ones there. where I was like, man, let's roll that rematch back right quick, you know? Oh, ones. you say immediately run that right yeah. back. But I'll, like, I'll see you in the rotation. I'll see you, you in the rotation. You meet me in the cage again. <laughs> Who do you got? Who is that? It's Guy V. It's Casino, yeah. Ooh, versus Guy V. This is going to be hype. Casino Bala versus Guy V. The funny thing about the question that uh, somebody asked earlier about uh, Ghost versus Horizon Forbidden West is that, like, it's actually more tough the more I think about it. Because Ghost, I just loved Legends so much. Like, if we're talking about just the single player, I think it'd be easy for me where I'd go Horizon. But like, Ghost Stream of Legends was such a fucking special time. And I think at the end of the day, I'm putting in way more hours into Ghost than into Horizon. Mm. But it's just tough. It's tough. Oh, lack of room due to... Was that me? I got kicked from that? What? I'm still in it. Why Are would you, I be kicked, kicked from the room for lack of response, sir? I was... What do you mean lack of response? I played my <laughs> game. I'm watching it. What do you mean lack of response? What, what is that? <laughs> You're sitting around too long, Mike. Should have wiggled that analog stick. <laughs> God, dude. Somebody wiggle the analog stick. What game is that, Bless? Whenever we used to play that, we'd have to yell. Somebody wiggle a gosh darn analog. Uh, I think that was me whenever we were watching uh, Metal Gear Solid Four uh, cutscenes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you didn't, if you didn't like uh, touch your controller um, uh, for a certain amount of time, PS, PS now. now would kick you out. Uh, it was also, <laughs> so if I had to walk away during a cutscene, I would have to remember to, to like touch the controller. It was also Western Call. Who was that? It was. Uh, I think it was Halo Master Chief Collection. Every time you'd squat up with your team, if everybody wasn't moving their stick, it wouldn't let you turn on a match. It's like, sir, just let us all play the game. We're ready to rock and roll. And so I'd have to yell at everybody, wiggle your stick so we can play the game, please. Oh, like it was your match. Why would it be my match? It was Guy V versus Casino Baller. It was his turn to press the button. Oh, that was ruthless. I don't know that was a move. Yeah, I mean, just <laughs> choked her in the Baller. air. They exploded her. That's fucking. Took your life. <laughs> <laughs> Call Ethan Chai. I can't wait for that Typhlosion versus. Uh, do they still do versus? I feel like I haven't watched one in a minute. Give me that Drake versus Jay Z versus. Is that the, the matchup you'd want to see? Is Drake versus Jay Z? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I think that'd be hyped. It'd be, it'd be, the only weird thing about it is that they're kind of different generation a little bit, but I think they're both seasoned enough and they both have enough radio hits that it'd be a pretty good back and forth. Like, I think, yeah, I think realistically you'd want Kanye against Jay-Z or Kanye against Drake, but I don't know, man. Kanye recently is like, bro, I don't want to you see, see you Netflix, <laughs> You see Netflix has got the Kanye documentary the doc thing Yeah, I do want to watch that. I do want to watch that. That documentary seems hype. Wow, seeing young Kanye is insane, bro. It's wild to see. I watched the trailer really yesterday. Really different person. Yeah, come, I never, I, I've never seen young Kanye from the 2000s. Yeah. It's wild to see him. Yeah, I can't wait to watch it. Hard to find says, I think Jay-Z would smoke anybody. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like Drake on his best day would be a battle. Even Kanye on his best day would be a, a battle. You bust out all the lights. Bust out can't tell me nothing. That was a, that was a battle right there. Great job, y'all. Oh, it's, it's back to me. Is this um the homie again? That's Casino Baller, yeah. Casino? Yep. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, Mike, you can hop back in here. Casino Baller is a... Uh... Got it. I wonder if they're local. There's uh, SF Giants fan. Oh. Casino Baller. You got to meet up in the in the arcade in the Emporium. Meet at the Emporium. Yeah. The Emporium, like every like bar, 10 times better if they played music at half volume. Kanye's Ghost Rider versus Jay-Z's. You just realistically be Kanye's Ghost Riders versus Drake's Ghost Riders. But also, like, these are riders. They're not Ghost Riders. Everybody knows who their riders are. 
<laughs> like, people can't get into trouble for Ghost Riders if they list the riders in the credits. All right, we got a battle here, bro. You got Joe up on the docket again. Here we go. And just remember, everybody hanging out in the chat, if you want to see Mike play Breath of the Wild for the first time, and you want us to get one monthly goal closer to that, fill up this bar down below. Wait, fill up that bar. We are halfway up on that bar right yeah. now. So to yeah, get us to we... four out of ten. Ten, uh, ten goals, Mike plays yeah. Breath of the Wild. Mike plays Breath of the Wild, and you know what? I hear a lot of talk about that. It's pretty good, y'all. So let's check it out together. <laughs> this we'll is share pretty good. It's <laughs> pretty good. Uh, I don't think I can join. Like, I was thinking, like, maybe I should join y'all for those streams. I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I can't wait, dude. It's gonna it be might hurt I've me to watch to Mike play it for the first game. time. Here's what I've been doing, though, with Breath of the Wild. I've not, I've not touched it since, like, 20... Maybe 2020? Maybe 2019, actually. Mm. Because I don't think I've touched it since I moved to SF. Um, and I'm thinking that maybe I just don't boot that game up until maybe 2030, where I've forgotten oh. most of the game. Everything. Okay. So I can experience it again for the first time. That's how much I fucking love that game, is I'm like, maybe if I don't play it long enough, I can have that special experience again. Or uh, replay it in anticipation for Breath of the Wild 2. Oh. You know? You know? I could, I could. That's a lot of time dedication, though. I, I, I appreciate where you're at, though. You're like the opposite of me. Because I feel like I've replayed it two months uh, in the recent years where I, I started a playthrough like a month ago and I was just like, I don't know, I'm just not feeling this. Oh, god damn. God damn. That Casino's attack. warmed up right now. Yeah, Casino's in his Duffy, bro. Casino's locked in right now. Man. He likes Joe He likes Joe a lot, too. Joe's good. That's a great power move on him, though. Casino was definitely where I was at 30 minutes ago. Mm hmm. Okay, that's a massive turnaround, though, Bless. There you go. You're in it now. Nice. There you go. Damn. First thing I was like, I don't know who to put oh. down. Oh. Timed out Cinemaniac for a, a quick second. Yeah, a lot. I will say, you know, we're working Calling towards that monthly goal, but seven like, out of 10. if, if y'all don't want it, if you think it's just a seven out of 10 game, I won't experience that. I'm like, I'm giving y'all no, the No, Mike, you've already dedicated that 10 out of 10, with you're going to you know play this I mean? game, okay? I, oh, no, I just mean like, if they're saying it's a seven out of 10 game, then like, you know what I mean? It's, we don't have to do it then, y'all. Again, I feel like, like we were saying yesterday, there's always like a almost like a counterculture when something is so popular it's so beloved there's always going to be a small sect of people who are all like ah it's not exactly. great just like people the joker all, movie you know people all over it man yeah, people, wait i'm game. sorry Plus, <laughs> I'm what, joking, what, I'm joking, what I'm side are you on the joker <laughs> movie though no now i need to know <laughs> i don't know yeah. i'm not passionate about that movie at all yeah, i watched that, that movie and yeah, i was yeah, like oh that's a movie but yeah, i don't really have right. any strong opinions on it he says that that's was a movie i was there that was a movie i went to it it was cool, I guess. A bit, I a bit much, it. a bit much in terms of like emotion. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, it was like, I don't know, there was a lot going on in that movie. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, I'm just, it's just funny. A bit much in terms of emotion. emotion. A lot of emotion. A lot of emotion it's a going fucking on. movie, emotion. dude. That movie had a lot to say. <laughs> Oh man, bless! He just connected yeah. with that and yeah. sent you into the stratosphere, bro. His Terry is better than my Shermie is. What that, what that comes down to. You. Oh man! Charles Jacobson in the chat says, like, oh, "Hear me yeah. out. Maybe some people just don't love Breath of the Wild like you, Barrett." Hey, Charles Jacobson, hear me out. Time out. Time out. Time out. I thought we were gonna share a moment. That's all. I thought we'd share a moment. 
my least favorite thing, Barrett. I know this is what you're feeling right now when you're when you're throwing, the out, throwing out those timeouts. It's like you're yeah. not saying anything that we don't know. Of course, people don't like games yeah. that like we like mm-hmm. sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta stop telling but, us. But if like people are doing. like kind of try to throw the heat at us of like it's a seven out of ten game, like you're just gonna expect us to sit here and be like, okay, 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 okay. I mean, that here's here's my thing. I didn't develop the game. It didn't I don't really the care. Game. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna sit here and be like, cool. You know, that's a, that's your opinion. My opinion is that it doesn't matter that much. At the end of the day, there's all video games. We're having fun. We're yeah, playing yeah. fighters right now. We're vibing, Mike. We're vibing. We're vibing, bro. Having fun. I've been having a great time with this game, actually. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm, glad. Enough, I'm having fun. That's all that matters. I'm having a good time. Like you never, you never know what games are gonna hit, what games are or, or not. And I feel like King of Fighters right now is hidden. Yeah. I'm having a great time. Breath of the Wild is uh, no chance that game is better than the top PlayStation exclusives to me. Again, that's a. Uh, you know, that's you your opinion. You can't, you can't let them know you care is the thing. That's your opinion. You can't let them know, know you, you care. care. They don't you know. know. They don't know what you care about. Because that's when they start doubling down. And yeah. they're like, oh, cool. We're going to dig in here. And, yeah. yeah, they took that that's knife. That's just a little that's bit how Kevin gets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're like, 7 out of 10? How about 6 out of 10? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, now we're speaking nonsense. You know, Now, now we're just saying things that we're going to regret in the future. <laughs> it's like, bro, what if that comes back on a job application? They see your Twitch chat where you call Breath of the Wild 6 out of 10, and they're like, cool. Now you're not going to get hired at this, at this bank Never. until you apply that. Never. This Make it happen. Bank of America Don't location. just say nonsense <laughs> on the internet. It'll come back to bite you, everybody. Mm. Yo, Tank, I actually have played Outlast. I beat Outlast. Nice. Force Outlast, after- Crazy Bird Doctor, Crazy Pig Man, mm. Ghost mm. Dude. Crazy yeah. game. Crazy game. Force and to ask, are you saying it's better Been than there. God of War? I mean, Breath of the Wild is my third favorite uh, game of all time. And I don't yeah, you can ask you can ask me if I say Breath of the Wild is better than X, and the answer for me will always be yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. And let me tell you, the other two games above Breath of the Wild, mm-hmm. one no, is no, technically no. a PlayStation exclusive, oh, but not oh. a first-party developer, not, and the other not. is an indie game. So you know that answers your question, I think. Is it Undertale? Paparazzi. <laughs> yes, it's Paparazzi. <laughs> this game that came out a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> I was having fun uh, the other day doing my top, like I think it's now eighty, maybe maybe seventy eight. Yeah, I gotta I gotta remake time. my my favorite games of all time list. Sekiro, it, yeah. let me tell you, Sekiro took a large leap. Oh yeah, I, I, yeah. Just the fact that like every time I think about that game, I feel good emotions. That's how you know you love a game. Hell yeah. It was like every time I think about Sekiro, I'm like, man, I want to yeah. pick Sekiro back up. You know what else took a big leap? Mario Odyssey. Fuck yeah. Both Sekiro and Mario Odyssey took a big leap. I think they're number 23 and 24 for me now. And nice. they could go higher, honestly. Mm, mm. I respect that. Everyone says Breath of the Wild versus Shadow Colossus. I mean, Breath of the Wild. But also, like, here's the thing. Shadow <laughs> Colossus, in my, in my opinion and in my um, view, I think inspires a lot of the things that make Breath of the Wild great. Right? Like, I don't think you get one without the other. And also, also in the way that I don't think well, you get Shadow Colossus without the Zeldas that came before it. Right? Like, it all kind of influences yeah. each other. Yeah. My, my top three, Mario, uh, or Breath of the Wild, Mario 64, Persona 4 Golden. Persona 4 Golden still up there. I respect yeah. that. Yeah. Top yeah. Three and you got to revisit it. And you got to play it. They got to re-release it for PlayStation. On like yeah, PS5. Put it, put it on a console that doesn't kill your save. Drew here in chat says Witcher 3. Do you know what I learned yesterday, Barry? Mm. Fire. Do you know what I learned? Witcher 3's Easy game plays. Doesn't hold up that great. Uh, let's be real. Combat Witcher the B were bad, bad at this. Combat Witcher three at the time wasn't excellent. <laughs> it was incredible. It wasn't excellent, but it was playable. Whereas like if you try to go back to it today, I don't even think it's playable at this point. Like back then, I was like, all right, this combat isn't great, but everything else though is immaculate. Um, mm. I learned that Andy Cortez hasn't hasn't played The Witcher three. I don't fault him for. Eh, that doesn't really shock me. I don't feel like Andy does like those like. That seems like such an Andy Cortez game. How so? Because like he loves Mass Effect so much, and he loves Lord of the Rings too. It's like, bro, play Witcher three. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's so. like an Andy. He like he likes uh, like from software games. I know Witcher isn't from software, but it's fantasy, mm-hmm. right? Like, yeah. I feel like that's an Andy Cortez ass game. Oh, Casino Baller, why you back out on me, Casino Baller? Oh. I'll see you soon. <sighs> I'll be waiting for you. Like Andy Cortez would appreciate the world building and the lore and like. Mm. The quests in The Witcher 3, like, any, yeah. the only thing I think that would um, put him off a bit would be the combat. 
because the combat, yeah, I don't think the combat is like where that game shines at all. Thank you, Casino Baller, for the games. That was a ton of fun, bro, bro. Oh, did Casino have to bounce out? Yeah, he still got to go. Oh, man. You know what? I'm not going to use uh, Shermie because it seems like Shermie just isn't my, uh, you know, my jam. I might go back to my, my boy Kukri. Thanks for subbing. Casino Baller with the five gifted subs. Thank you, Casino Baller. Yeah, like Xeno here, in, or Xenon in chat says, Witcher 3 side quests are still unmatched. Combat, I think, is aged a bit, though. Yeah, Casino, the, or, um, Red Witcher Baron, 3 side quests man. might be some of the best side quests in an RPG. And, like, I'm somebody who... Witcher 3 isn't on my top games of all time thing. Not because yeah. of the quality, just purely because it's not my type of... It's, not, it's not your thing, for the most part. But, like, the fucking side quests, the quality of them, fucking immaculate. So good. Charles mm. Jacobson asks, uh, what is weirder, Tim not watching 8 Mile or Andy not playing Witcher 3? Tim's still not having watched 8 Mile, still, like, shakes yeah, me to my core a little bit. Yeah, 8 Mile, like, Tim not watching 8 Mile is weird, because, like, if Tim was, like, 8 Mile shaped my life, I would have been like, yeah. <laughs> like, like, Tim could have been like, oh, yeah, 8 Mile is one of my favorite movies of all time. I would have been like, duh. Like, the fact that he hasn't seen 8 Mile is, is it's, wild. It's a little concerning, you know? But what's weirder, that or the fact that Andy Cortez still has never eaten mac and cheese? He is missing out on mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is very good. I kind of understand her other special moves, because I swear to God she only has one special move, and it's this thing right here. Um, the fist, like the, the big fist, and I don't understand it. Unless I'm missing something. Cause why'd you double down? Oh wait, maybe that was nope, that's just move. Ooh, good counter. Bless Ooh, oh, oh. The turnaround! The turnaround. Come on, people. God damn. I I'm Get probably up, you, Joe. Mike, right? Yeah, that's me. Okay. I just stole Casino close. Baller's players. <laughs> I like, had to see what he was uh, seeing. Like, okay, okay. I, hey, what's he, what's only, he with here? I need to learn how to do the cyclone, bro. I don't know how to do the tornado. I've definitely figured out how to do the slide kick, though. And when I say that, I mean I've just pressed the button a couple of times and done it. I don't know what buttons it actually is. <laughs> Excellent chat. If 8 Mile is so good, why'd they never make 9 Mile? It's a good point. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> good Loki? If they brought back 8 Mile as like a HBO series instead of a movie, I might be into it. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't want a sequel to 8 Mile. But I'd be down for like something in that universe that was like all about rap battles in the rap mm. scene. Plus I, uh... Like done well. I don't need that cheesy rap battle stuff. Let me get some good ass yeah. um, battle rap. Because battle rap is actually really entertaining if you ever watch modern battle rap. Yeah, and it, like, done in, like, a really good presentation and build-up and hype, like, done really well in a fucking show, like, that, I, I could yeah. see it less. Fuck, I would love that, actually. Like, get act get actual battle rappers to write the raps instead of, like, yeah. whoever your fucking writers are on the show. Because, like, when, when you're watching uh, actual battle rap, it's, like, the way that rappers can get into like their double entendres and quadruple entendres even when it comes to battle rap and like dissect other rappers and like the the storylines behind that shit is actually really interesting because yeah. it is it is legit like modern battle rap isn't freestyle it is you write down three verses you go three rounds and it's you like memorizing like these verses that you wrote and like trying to bring up like personal shit and rebuttal like certain shit that people are are, are, are um, bringing up towards you and right. it's fucking entertaining on a different note bless i caved and uh got the expansion uh pack for nintendo switch online nice purely for mario kart 64 hell yeah hell 64 not even the dlc for 64 what you said for mario kart 64 yeah like the original game, not the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC. Yeah, no, uh, like the to play like the N64 games. Nice. Oh, they have Mario Kart 64 on that. That's oh cool. yeah, dude. Yeah, that was the first thing I played. I played and beat Mario Kart 64 on Switch Online. I heard somebody wanted to play some King of Fighters in here. 
Whoa, oh, is, that, is, that, is that the one and only Khalif Adams? I, I heard I heard somebody wanted to get some King of Fighters in. Get in here, bro. Oh, oh, hop in, man. What's the code? Blast, dude? Get in here. Well, uh, once we get back to the thing, we'll uh, read out the code to you. What are you doing? Doing okay? Having a good time. Oh, this game is dope as hell. Each other. I see y'all beating each other up. I, I can it. play this game forever. Like, this is one of those games where I'm just having a good time with it. This is my first King of Fighters since God knows when at this point. So the code is 695224. And yeah, this is my first King of Fighters, period. 69 what? 695224. Uh, Scooby Dooey Doo here says if anyone remembers Blind Theory <laughs> from 106 in Park. Do you know what I remember from 106 yes. Park? MC Jin. Oh, oh, Jin wow. was an Asian dude that came through to 106 in Park, and everybody was like, oh, is this guy like about to rap or whatever? And he would beat people's asses in rap battles. No, he was so nasty. He was, he was so super good. nasty. He and Blind Fury was so good. It was so good. I actually met I met Jin in real life, uh, and he made fun of my name. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> I, but I introduced myself, but I introduced myself in a weird way. I don't know why I did it, but I was like, oh, yeah, my name is Blessing, like in the Bible or whatever. I um it. And he was like, why would you introduce yourself like that? And I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> like in like the Bible. I, I, love, I love that that was your reference point for that. Because like, it, like when, when I used to, when I would introduce myself, people wouldn't know, like people wouldn't believe me when I say blessing. They're like, oh, do you mean Lester? And I'm like, no, blessing. And I would have to like specify, like, no, God. yes, this is what you think. That reminds me, like anytime I'd introduce myself as Barrett, people would be like, Garrett, you mean? It's like no, bitch. I fucking like, know no. my own name. It's Barrett. Bless, 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 bless. You were like Barrett from the we were like Barrett from the Bible. <laughs> Barrett, like from Final Fantasy VII remake. I'm older than that game. Oh my god! Which is Barrett, weird. like from. What is this outfit? I haven't been in the game in a minute. <laughs> what is what? Okay. Now who am I fighting? Hey. I'm fighting Guy V. Hey. He's shorty in the club. I'm like, yo, them chaps. Like, you know. Yeah, it's like, you good? Like, you cold? Yo, them chaps. Dude, your cheeks are just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, you have you been good? You need a sweater? Like, a you sure you good? Okay. Gotta double check real quick. <laughs> you see Megan the Stallion? Uh huh. Ooh, okay, I'm getting dissected. I gotta lock in. Wait, what, Creed? Are you serious? What? Oh my god. Best fighting game on the planet, man. <laughs> it's like when Dead or Alive first came out. Mm hmm. I was like, oh, they gave physics to everything. Yeah, right? You're just like, oh, that shouldn't even do that. That's not even the way that works. Yeah, that doesn't don't... move that way. No, that's not the way that works. But it's like, they gave the most advanced physics system to, like, the, the most, like, sexually explicit features. The funniest part it's about it's like you could use this for Half Life, and you are out here just <laughs> degrading people with it. We're still we're still waiting for Tress effects to be real, and we get this. Like, what is happening? <laughs> These characters are dope, though. Man, I haven't played a King of Fighters in such a long time. Yeah, this roster is really cool. Man, I'm getting dissected right now by Guy V. I don't know what happened. Great job, y'all, on the on the Horizon uh, work. It was very, very good. Oh, thank you, man. I enjoyed, I enjoyed it a lot. How are you liking the game? It's good. It's good. I finally finished it um, uh, a couple days ago. My, my review stuff went up today. So it's, it's nice. It's nice to finally have that thing done. But as soon as you drop that, something else is right, right behind it. Yeah. It's like, okay, now I gotta move on to the next one. No break. Today, today's the first day I've actually had like nothing to do, and I feel bad. <laughs> I'm, yeah, like, right? I'm, I'm like, I, I should be reviewing a thing or playing a thing or doing something, and it's like the first day I've had in two weeks since I've. That was me on Tuesday, where like the last month it's been playing Dying Light 2, going into Sifu, going into Horizon, mm -hmm. and me just straight up like dominating Horizon because I know at any moment I can get Elden Ring. Yeah. And so, like, I yep. started that game early. I beat it and then like a good pace, you know, was clearing it out. Mm -hmm. And then like 
Tuesday was like the first day where I was like, all right, I'm scheduled on nothing today. And like, I expect to play Elden Ring all day. And I just didn't have, I didn't have Elden Ring. So I was like, mm. all right. So <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna sit here. I guess like, I'll just sit here and like watch paint dry. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I, I got, I hit hour 12 of uh, Horizon Forbidden West last night, Blessing. Nice. And I'm coming around. Oh. I'm coming around. Oh, yeah. There. Dude, yeah. that's that's about where it happened for me. Yeah. It was like hour 10. Yeah. Was, there's was some like, really oh, shit, cool board really drops last night where I was like, all right, all right. I'm into it. I was waiting for the story to start to open up and then, the, you know, the, the baddie came in and yeah. I was like, oh, I don't love that it happens 12 hours into the game that it oh, like finally yeah. hooks me, but I'll take it. I mean, I think I finished the whole thing. Well, I finished the main storyline and, and did some some side stuff at like 50 hours. Oh wow! It was only at like 37 percent complete. Oh shit! Yeah, so it's a very very big game. It makes me want to go back and, and go dig into other stuff and actually go back through the world and see the stuff I didn't get a chance to see. But that's that's mm. one of those weird blessing and curses of like getting a thing early. Yeah. Of like feeling like you need to bump and then uh, because and like you also cover things you got to move on to the next thing you know mm -hmm. i don't know what happened how i took that back but ggs <laughs> ggs also yeah people in chat are saying like damn 10 hours is, is, is long i know for, it, it, it it's not that for me it didn't click until 10 hours but for me it, it got more interesting at the 10 hour mark like i was enjoying the first 10 hours but i know bear it wasn't it didn't click until the first uh until after those 10 hours Yeah, it took me a minute. Yeah, like Please to make be, sure like, you jump in. Oh, yeah, yeah, like I, I, I was just like confused. Oh, yeah, actually, so get in the middle. Make sure you're uh, queued up. Oh, I'm, I'm in the queue. No, you gotta click in the middle. Oh, you gotta click in the middle. Yeah, yeah you there you are. In, I think you're in, you're in now. You got so you in like uh, right yeah, now. break mode. Oh, okay. I took a chair. <laughs> Complete. Oh, that thing is like real, like. It's like complete preparations. I'm like, I don't know what I do. What, what do you want from me? All right, who do I want to go with? I'm gonna take a break from um, Angel. I don't know how any of these people work, but that's gonna be fine. Turns out Maxima is definitely like <laughs> good for me because I was killing it with Maxima just then. I'm like, who are people that I remember when I was a child playing? The good has really good guitar music. The guitar riffs are very, very good. Mu music in this game is dope as hell. I was uh, playing with my. I keep bringing this up on every single thing I'm on, um, and I promise I'm not sponsored. But like the Razer Kyra Pro headphones that have like haptic feedback, I've been playing using these, and like the music fucking knocks. Because like with every like drum, it just fucking beeps on my ear and it feels great. Mm. So then, that, that feeling. See how, how, how much I get rocked on this. Right. Let's go. Mike, which dog do you got on uh, on your shoulder right now? I got Clay Thompson hanging out with me. She was jealous that I was eating uh, clementine orange, Aww. so I had to grab that dog. Yeah, yeah. Now we get to see the throw down here. Can, yeah. can Khalif traverse all the fighting games? You got this? Is this in your bag, Khalif Adams, or is this not no, your no, no, go to? No. I mean, fighting game stuff is just in in the mix, but yeah, I'm not I'm not good at this one. This isn't my okay. this isn't fighter of choice. Mike, I still want to do some kind of tournament. Um, and maybe it's a when we're back in the studio kind of thing, so we can make it like a big fun special thing. Well, you gotta definitely involve Khalif somehow. Khalif, dude, Khalif's your go-to guy right there, bro. Khalif's the man for this. Maybe what we gotta do, this is me throwing out ideas, chat. Don't get married to it. Maybe what we gotta do is when we're back in the studio, invite like eight guests, or 16 guests from like games media or like whoever we can find, right, that are into fighting games and do it that way where we have a bunch of different games that like we cycle through for all the rounds. Fuck, maybe this is a PAX panel. I mean, this is a, one of those moments where, you know, we gotta, we gotta get the whole squad for sure together. What up, Sage? Oh no, what is that? Because we oh. did the Greg oh. Miller International Tournament thing, right? That you do at PAX. We could do that, but for fighting games. Yeah. You, Mike? you still gotta get a win, That gym. was a fun time. That was a good time. Yeah. But why is Terry this brolic right now? Why is his body so Dude, hot? his arms are so huge. 
killed. He's the man, dude. Like, and that's sweet push ponytail. He's been doing the pandemic push ups. <laughs> <laughs> Just think if you did a push up a day through the whole entire pandemic, where you'd be. Dude, I'm so sad that I stopped doing that. I was doing, I was doing so many push ups in the first one few push months up of the pandemic. I'm, I'm sorry, you said one push up a day? One push up a day, dude. I, I, mean, I don't... added up. That would have been like 700 push ups. Uh, would have been more than zero. Would have been you're more than you're zero. not wrong there for sure. <laughs> like I saw a TikTok of somebody who's doing. I think it was 200 push ups a day, and they're fucking jacked now. And I'm like, man, that could have been me. That could have been. Me. Could you imagine me with big arms? Be unstoppable. I'd be looking like oh, iffy out here. Be looking great. Swolson. No, that's not what I want. Man, I like a good fighting game stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a nice little hangout spot. Oh, bueno. Rollback frames two. Rollback. Also, shout out to Rollback uh, netcode. No doubt. Every fighting game should have this. Because this has been smooth this whole time. Rollback. I think there was like one match where you had. Um, Just me and Cambosa. Just two mountain town internets going at each other. <laughs> Those mountains just blocking all the. Just the solid. <laughs> It's that 30 megabyte internet just trying, trying its best. I wish Kevin was here, because I would ask Kevin, like, what's in those mountains that's blocking the signal? Mm, science with Kevin is right. Where is he? Is it, is it just dirt? Yeah, is there metal in there? Is there um, vibranium in those mountains? Like Wakanda? There you go, Khalif. Back him up a little bit. Shit. Damn, that is a far traveling uppercut. This goes. Rush down, bless. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. I just botched it. I don't know what I did. I hit two buttons at the same time. Oh, oh I was, oh, dude, I was trying to get it in. No. I was trying I to lock it in. <laughs> I was ready, dude. I was trying to get it in. Literally one shot right now. It's so funny. Uh, oh my god, just watch Oh, dude. There it is. Oh, GG. GG's. This Maxima dude is, I, I like him because he's, he's like dope. heavy. Yeah. He's like Iron Man, but like if Iron Man did push ups. If he did one push up every day, if he did one push up every day during the pandemic, change your life. And the muscles just went directly into the suit, not in his actual body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Run it back. Here we go. Run it back. Yeah, it was me and you again, Kyle. Oh, snap. Okay. Run it back, Khalif. There you go. I'm gonna you do got a, I want to do a, I'm going to do a random team. Just to like switch things up. Yeah, let me let me get some random. Oh, you went full rando? You just went R3, R3, R3? Yeah, I went L3. L3 nice. would do the whole thing. Oh, L3 with the whole thing. Terry, Andy, and Joe. Okay, well, they gave you a pretty solid yeah, squad. Yeah, they, they gave you okay. a really solid squad. Dang. They gave you the. I don't know how Andy does, but like if, if there's anything Andy, Andy Cortez, he's going to be fast. They gave you the dudes there. The whole squizzle. I clicked random, they gave me a squad. It's about to be a I dated someone who looked like Dolores once. Must be nice, man. <laughs> I was like, hey, hey. It's like, damn. Yeah. Oh, you know what? When I press random team, it gives me like an actual, like, compatible team. Because oh. I think this is just the Fatal Fury squad that I'm watching. Oh. Because I think it's Andy, Bo uh, Andy Bogard, Terry's brother. <laughs> Yeah. Also, does Tam play King of Fighters? Tam strikes me as somebody who would have played King of Fighters. Uh, we talked about it on Games Daily. I don't think I, th I think this one might have been <clears throat> something he might have missed or didn't play. A oh, lot you know of. what? Yeah, I I caught when he didn't know what number he was. He was more into SNK versus Capcom. Mm. Bring back more versus games. I want like I want a new unique versus game. Give me Hanna Barbera versus Capcom. <laughs> I want that. <laughs> Scooby Doo versus fucking Ryu. Hey boo boo, let's kick some ass. <laughs> 
Oh, what the hell? Oh, that oh was incredible, God. bro. Did. Damn. You froze him in time. Two buttons. <laughs> That's multiverse. No, <laughs> That's actually true. That is true. That is multiverse. Yeah. All right, let's see what Terry Bogart can do. Oh. Oh. Oh, you know what? I definitely have used K Dash. K Dash was a character I definitely tried to use in um, one of the older games. Because I recognize those moves. I did not understand those moves. That flame right there. I was like, why won't that travel? Oh, that just hurt. Oh, massive. Oh, you hurt. had that block down. It just hurt. Namco versus Bandai. It hurt. Yeah. It hurt. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, Get it. Rayman, blessing. I know you love Tropical Freeze. Did you try Ukulele in the Impossible Air? You had me Ooh. all backwards. That you had me all back. I've never played Tropical Freeze, but I love Ukulele in the Impossible Air. Oh. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> General Mills versus Ke Kellogg's. That's what I'm talking about. Like these are the versus games that I want. Like, give me Cartoon Network versus PlayStation. Developed by um, Arc System Works. <laughs> oh, yeah. Try to play a little bit of the. Give me Shonen Jump versus Disney. You know, <laughs> like get in the bag. Get in the bag. I want to see. <laughs> I want to uh, see Baku go kick the shit out of Mickey Mouse. You know, <laughs> every day. Hey, Yusuke, you're a meshy fighting Kim Possible. I do love Dolores' character, though. Her design is sick. It's super good. Ooh, nice. Good combo. Ooh, good combo. Down to your last. Mm -hmm. I'm on the ropes right now. Good combo. Give me uh, Final Fantasy versus Coco Melon. Ready? Go! Oh. No. Oh. oh. Standoff. Shit. Oh, wasted that. This man is legit saying some Street Fighter <laughs> terms. I swear to God, that man's a show you. Oh, that was massive. Oh, GG. Wow, Khalif. Nice job, bro. Got We're it turning in. on right there. GG's. The fundamentals are there. I just have to learn the system. Mm -hmm. That's the best, right? When you play enough fighting games where it's like you can play any of them. Yeah, yeah, you're like, oh, okay, that feels good. I remember that. Oh. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, okay. No, I love that. Mixed layers of it. Ooh, let's get Mike versus Kyle right Ooh. here. Believe you got a dope little player profile. Who? What is that? No clue. I think I got that thing. No was... clue. I have no idea. Oh, Khalif backed out on me. Did I? What? It didn't let me jiggle it. Oh what? yeah, I gave you a red. I gave you a yellow card. Yeah. Why didn't you press A on that? What, what happened there? What? Why did you give you a yellow card? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's what was what? that, bro? Bring it back. There we go. I don't know. I mean, take a break. You're good. I think you're just supposed to press A. Maybe hover above I your face. It, I didn't complete there the preparation. It's my bad. Preparation. You get a yellow card for that. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the yellow card means. It means you did. You means you have one more strike, and then they kick you out forever. <laughs> and you're done. Oh, is that what happened to Mike? I guess. Well, no, they kicked me oh. out of the server, though. Damn, they gave me a straight. You're out. Well, a unique technique with the freaking yellow card emote. Good. <laughs> yeah, Rayman, I, I do want to play Tropical Freeze at some point because I know I'd love it. Um, maybe this October. God, 
commit to this lady. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna press the button. Going down the Ocean Avenue. Yeah, Ocean Ave. Let's go. I have no idea what that means, but I just said it anyway. God, I'm like looking at some Elden Ring art right now. Uh, That's so, so good. good. So good. Mm, you know what other? It's some great art. Starfield art recently blessed. They've been really some Starfield art. Stuff from that. Yeah, it's been incredible. Please send that over to me. Oh yeah, they've been showing a bunch of good. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, really good stuff. Really exciting stuff. I made a list of games I was uh, looking forward to this year, and Starfield's my number one. I think Starfield's my most anticipated. I just want to. I want to get lost in the Bethesda world. A new one. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that's nasty. Ah! Get out of the corner, Mike. Oh, I'm just trapped in there. I don't know any of the work. buttons to get out of it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just doing, in here. I've been on a clinic. As you're home now. I'm also can't figure out whip at all. It's just a cool animation with the whip flipping around, but I have no idea if I'm yeah. actually connecting with anything. She was no one of the first there. characters I chose, and I did not understand the whip. Like, it and looks like it has good one. range, but. Butt bump. I got the butt bump down. I'm blocking it out. Block it out. Oh, no. Oh. Leafs in his back now. He's getting the zone. Yeah, he's all the way in there. Ah. He's at the bottom of the Duffy. <laughs> he's looking for change in the Duffy. <laughs> Leaf, how's your Xbox bag? You loving that now that you got it in hand? Oh, it's dope. It's dope. I, I, I may, love I, the backpack, bro. We may take it to dice this year. Ooh. Oh. In the face. Um. Cause I don't know. Am I, am I gonna bring my console? Maybe, maybe for the late night sessions when I'm drunk and have nothing else to do. When I'm old and not going to the club. Yeah, I was gonna say, aren't you just supposed to be walking down to the club? Yeah, Please, I mean, it's gonna be up? A building, right? I won't have to go. I won't have to go too far. All right, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't like this slide kick. Okay, but I'm gonna figure it out. All right. Hey, Retro Studios has updated their Twitter banner on to some uh, new Metroid Ooh. art. This shit looks hot. It's real hot. Ooh, good job, Mike. Terry, Terry's my guy. I figured out Terry for sure. Back flap. I'm Whoa. trying to figure out Yuri. Can't figure out the other one. Yeah, I just saw your, so I just saw your slack. Got the rip out that of seems so dude, weird, we might, You might get some Metroid uh, info this year sometime. Yeah, maybe three time. Oh, what is that? Yeah, I can see it. That is a hot banner. Man. Does that mean no Breath of the Wild? No Breath of the Wild. That wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be good. Because I, I imagine if, they, if Metroid is at E3 this year, that game, uh. that game is going to be announced for like... 2023 in the delay. Oh, really? oh my god, I was like a frame away from that. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I think we get Breath of the Wild this year. That's my prediction. Wait, what happened? I don't think we get both. I, I, think we, I think we I think we get one or the other, you know. For E3? What are those? Well just coming out this year in general. Oh yeah, no, there's no way Metroid is coming out this year. Mm -hmm. I think we get info. I don't I don't think there's any oh, way out this year. We got some new peeps in here. Nice. Let's go, y'all. Maximum Decay asks a pretty good question. What do you think we see Starfield gameplay? Probably around E3 would, time, right? Yeah, that would be the E3 breakdown. I don't think that game's making it this year, but, you know, I think we'll still see it. I got faith in it. I think, I think we, see, we see Starfield this year. Yeah, that's, that's got to be a thing. Because they've been working on that forever, and, like, I don't think they put out a date that far ahead without that including, like, so much extra time to polish and make sure that game is, like, Game of the year contender ready. 
Uh, fuck, what do I want to use? Rayman says Starfield has a date. Plenty of games have had dates before that get delayed. Don't don't use that as an <laughs> argument against me. That's a well, dumb argument. God. <laughs> God damn, Barrett. Jeez. It's a dumb argument. I'm I mean, sorry. It's, I mean, it's yeah. that, that man just caught off his computer after that. He was like, oh, Yeah, damn. he was like, I don't, I, it doesn't feel safe here for me. <laughs> I don't feel safe. <laughs> Barrett's going for the throat. If you're coming at Barrett, better come correct. He's like, and bananas on peanut butter sandwiches suck. <laughs> <laughs> Fix your life. Damn it, bless. See, now, now I done bought this thing, and now I'm really like, oh, man. Yep. You You're going to get into this. Oh, man. I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling you must it. Not, he's he's aiming now. Oh, do you have a fight stick? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I must have that fight stick if you're not using it. need to. I need to hear those buttons and butt clicks in the background. It. I think it's so loud. I should probably transition to my fight stick, actually. I've not used it. We bought the fight stick so I can use it on stream. I've not used it since, like, the first 30 minutes. <laughs> I have a nice Vixtrix uh, one. I just haven't used it yet. It's super loud. That's the reason I can't use it at night. And I play a lot of the fighters. This large. Ooh. So there we go. Here's the matchup we want to see. Oh no! It. Oh, that hurt. Oh, great combo. Very, very good. That was not what I wanted to do at all. Hmm. Got it. Nice combo. Oh, nice job. Going. Great job. That is a close matchup right there. Oh my gosh. Zero, zero right there. Incredible. It's very, very tight. You did such a good job with the backgrounds on this game. Man. Yeah, it looks so hot, right? And the music's really good on this level. I like this music stage. Oh, did I stop blocking? No. Good one. Fell right on that bear. I was like, I knew it. As soon as I jumped, I was like, damn it. As soon as I jumped, I was like, I, I botched that. Yeah, this character I'm using, Athena, seems difficult to fight against. Mm-hmm. Because, like, I can just manage space the whole time. Yeah. That's not what oh I want. Oh. Smart. Rush down. I went through my fireball! Hate it! Nice, nice, nice. Another good one right <laughs> there. Because we're, we're quiet. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, yeah. God, why did I choose Chris? Yeah. I should have chosen Maxima. This whole stream has been just moments of dead silence. It's really, <laughs> just buttons clicking in the background. I definitely. I, I Big uppercut yeah. right there. Love that move. Nice. Oh, this is so, so disrespectful. Whoa. <laughs> so disrespectful. <laughs> Respect your elders, bless. Yo, that shit is so wildly disrespectful. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice job. It's like, a whole, it's like a whole bunch of back slaps. <laughs> changing into, like, morphing. It's like, what? All right, final fighters each. Here we go. Uh... Oh! Oh! It was wild. 
Yeah, that was right into oh, it. Oh, I like him breakdancing, cat. There it is again. There it is again. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, good game. <laughs> Aleph is turned on right now yeah, at the end of this Aleph is warmed up. Now, Barrett, I'm going to look to you. How much time do we have left before the end of our recording hitting three hours today? Where uh, we, we got 10 minutes left there, buddy. 10 minutes left. All right, I want to see some more Khalif versus Blessing showdown. So let's, let's guarantee at least one more, two more of those. But I think we have... Somebody new has joined, and I want to see the black kid in here oh, with the Q. The so oh, black here. kid is in here. We'll keep an eye on him, but oh, let's okay. run through this. Let's go uh, Guy V, the black kid, and then we'll just have the final matchup of Khalif versus Blessed to end this. I Guy V, it. make sure to get in the next one so you can do this, but we'll fit in all three matches before the end of the 10 minutes. We can do it. Random squad is going. Yeah, this is going to be bad now. Now I'm going to be up to like God knows what time playing this oh, thing. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, you are. Dude. That's what I love to hear. Yeah, if you're trying to get get some matches in, Khalif, hit me up. I'm down. I'm down. Because I got out of my MK bag because MK is like, you know, done for now. But. What do you, are you think? Do you think they're going to make MK their next game? Or do you think they're going to go back to Injustice? I mean, I've seen MK story. Supposedly, Ed Boon's kid tweeted out the hashtag for the next game. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. I don't think that's real, real, but you know, who knows? I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna ask him at Dice. I'm be like, hey, Ed, tell me. I feel like, like the, the, the rumors that we've heard about. lately, I feel like for whatever <laughs> reason, Mortal Kombat is more likely as their next game. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna do another Injustice yet. It makes sense with like the. I know there was like turbulence for a second with WB games and what was gonna mm -hmm. go on with that with that um discovery thing, but I mean they have good momentum right now to pull out another another big MK game. That's the thing is like they have the momentum coming off of MK and then aftermath and then like new generation, right? Like you might want to lead off with MK um as opposed to going back to Injustice just to like get that new gen audience in there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to do But that. also there was that rumor of like I think Marvel stuff. I oh, Marvel versus that. DC like one. Marvel. Was it versus DC? Yeah, that was the rumor. I would be shocked. I would, I would shit my pants. <laughs> like if that ever happened, legitimately, like I would shit my fucking, pants. I wouldn't know how to re re like physically react to that. Nice. Oh, I didn't know they did that. Black Kid plays a whole bunch of fighters. I know it. Kaivi, <laughs> Black Dragon Ball Fighters next week. Uh, I don't know if we have a plan for next week yet, but I mean, we can see. Listen, I'd be down. I'll even play some Dragon Ball Fighters off stream. Just hit me up. He'll, he'll fight you off stream. Yeah. Hit me up with some Tekken too, because I'm, I'm looking for reasons to play Tekken. Oh, I don't know how to throw. Oh. <coughs> nice one. Black kid with a nice start right there. Nice start. Ooh. Black, this is what I'm thinking. Tell me. We're, we're back in the studio. All right. It's uh, We do a special special event. It's a fight card. Eight fights. Eight fights. All right. Um, 16 fighters, each representing their, their respective games outlet. We okay. find somebody from IGN. We find somebody from Game uh, Game Informer. We find somebody from uh, like whatever other outlets that we want to bring. Achievement Hunter, who, whoever, right? We bring them into the studio, and we treat it like a fight night, oh, like a UFC night, where it is mm -hmm. Snow White, Mike, and Khalif Adams on the mic, on the call. Okay, on the call. give everybody a cool robe to come in on. Ex oh my god, gotta have music. a cool. Uh, yep. Uh huh. Gotta have oh, the entrance pass. I mean, let's the moment that uh, this studio opens up for us. Put the call out to people. Let's get the let's get it going, bro. I'd love to see that happen. Laser Ramon says, treat it like Shang Tsung's Island, which I think would be hilarious. That would be dope, bro. <laughs> no, yeah. No, no play. I mean, and we play and we watch Bloodsport. Y'all remember we watched Bloodsport, so we know all about that, bro. You come from blood. Who bring Alfredo back to SF one night only? <laughs> I think they're coming to SF pretty soon. They're doing a achievement hunter live, I believe. Yeah. And there's like I gotta see when that is. I believe SF is one of them. And they'll be there sooner than you think. Ooh, the hell. This guy's hair is incredible. Mm. 
Mm, oh, nice. that was incredible. Fantastic. That was beautiful. <coughs> GG. That was good. Oh, nice. The angel with the different outfit colors. Cool. Okay, dope. Mm. Thanks, Robbie. Feeling good, looking good. Playing good, actually. Surprisingly playing good. Oh, nice. That's also the nice thing about there being a new fighting game out, is the fact that, like, we can all get in some games and feel good about ourselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it's like people haven't had the chance to, like, spend months in the lab and get better than everybody else. Oh, side switch. Mike, if there was one fighting game that you'd want to get into the lab with and get really good at, which would it be? It'd be Mortal Kombat, 100%. Mortal Kombat. Mortal right, Kombat's bloody, right. gory. It's got the fatalities, right? It's got really outlandish characters. I, I love Mortal Kombat. That let's would be that. the one. Next, when the next Mortal Kombat comes out, let's do it. Like, Mike in the lab. You gotta do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I would love that, bro. All right, Khalif, go get the inside information from him, okay? Just ask him, when can we get in the lab? When, when do we all get in? <laughs> I remember when I asked him. Uh, I asked him once. It was like, you know. So you don't have to tell me all the goods, but like, you know, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> and I <laughs> saw it was actually actually at the last dice. Uh, he gave me the best look ever. That was like, it, it was weird because I we're probably not that you not that far off in age. He probably has me by maybe like seven or eight years, but he gave me the like young young child. <laughs> you, 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 you really don't want me to tell you because if you do, I will definitely have to kill you. Like, you definitely have to snatch you. <laughs> All right, everybody, here's our final matchup of the day right now for our awesome stream. Thanks to our friends over at Epic Games. We had a sponsored stream today showing off the King of Fighters 15. It's out everywhere on all your favorite consoles. If you're buying it on PC, remember, you can go cop it over at the Epic Games store, and you can use our Epic Creator Code at checkout. Kind of funny to help support the team in a brand new way. It's no additional cost to you, and you can support us by buying it through the Epic Games store. You can type in X ways to point Epic throughout the stream anytime to see the link but most importantly hopefully you just had fun playing some fighting games with me bless barrett we had khalif adams join us we had so many of you from the community jump in and jump in the lobby and have some fun really cool to see you all vibing with some fighting games all right so let's jump in final matchup khalif versus blessing one final time here we go a duke oh i need this outfit i need this fit that is fresh. Yo, bless. If you rock that, bless. Yo, you. Oh, mean. you be looking good. Oh, I'll do that the next Game Awards. That'll be me. <clears throat> That's things. Now I gotta step it up for Game Awards next. Hey, year. You gotta do the I no under. The like you gotta do the no undershirt too. You gotta go like shirtless underneath. No the, undershirt. The coat. One push up a day. Yeah. To get you one that push body. up a day. One push up, yeah. a day. one push up a day. I'll do it. One push up a day could change that. <laughs> what? Just one. So he said one push up a day. Khalif, one yeah. push up. Think about all the push ups you could have been doing if you did one a day, uh, Khalif, since the pandemic started. Oh my god, I would have like one ad by now. And I'll be probably what? Looking like 65 cent out here. 65 cent, bro, my 65 boy. 65 cent. Bitty. <laughs> It'll be like 50 centavos has come to the, <laughs> the spot. And ah, come in so upside down, you know? Uh huh. That's how I'm gonna do the show next year. I'm just do who is this character? This character's dope. Oh my god, who is that? Oh, Mikukri. Starting off Kukri strong is right there. I said it was the last match, so I had to call. I had to bring the best Yo, team possible. Starting out strong right now. You dropped one of them. Who'd you drop? You dropped Angel. That's who you decided to drop. Wow, yeah, I dropped Angel. Okay. Oh, that wow, Angel is ridiculous. Freaking Sandman out here. Ooh, wow, the perfect timing on that. Oh, oh, mixing me up, boys. Oh, that is so nasty. I love this character. Yeah, he's great. He has so many moves, is the thing. 
Don't do it. Dude, I'm patient. I don't have to. Oh god damn it! Ah. Nice. All right. All right. Can we can we do the the three zero comeback with dinosaur? Ooh, I believe in you. <laughs> can we do it? Oh my god, this character looks so good. What? Oh, I hit a button! Nice. All right, let's see. Damn, that was strong. <coughs> you got them long legs. This is what one push-up will do. <laughs> one push-up a day will do. This is what, this is what one push-up a day does to a man. <laughs> <laughs> do it. <laughs> no, stop it. Oh. 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 Oh, that's because I'm dead. Oh. Oh. Come on, Betsy. Nice combo. Oh, I'm caught. That was it. Oh. Oh. I fucked up. No, oh, that was it. Oh, that was it. oh. oh no. GG. I was rooting for you to at least get him down to his last character, you know? Good job, good job, good yeah, job. Yeah, I thought it was going to be fun. Hey, great good job. Place. Khalif, thanks for joining us here in the afternoon, man. You're the absolute best, homie. Always, dude. Thank you, boys, for having me. Always. It's always you, dope. You know what? Bless, oh, yeah. thanks for taking us to school in another fighting game stream. It was fun to check out King of Fighters 15. And if anybody wants to play fighting games, you know, go hit up Bless because he'll gladly enter the dojo with you. Barrett, thanks for running the stream. Thanks for everybody for tuning in. Don't forget, you can buy it right now over on the Epic Game Store. Use our Epic Creator Code, kind of funny. And we'll see you back here tomorrow for the release of Horizon Forbidden West. Peace, everybody.